plaster machine with the air dry clay. I do with polymer clay. I tend yes. to use more on my hands. So that's nice and stretchy now. That is nice and soft. It's nice and smooth. Can you see? Yeah, it yeah, does look a lot better, lovely. doesn't it? Uh, but, three quarters ooh. of the stock, Catherine, has gone of the ladies. Ooh. So, um, again, busier and busier and busier. Oh, right. Okay. So, let me just move these moulds out of the way so I can move into the centre a little bit more. Now, although I've explained about conditioning the clay there, now I've done that and the moisture is dispersed in there. That is a little bit wet. And this is, this is one thing. And every single time I do a show, and every time I say this, I still get the same question. Why can I not get the clay out of the mold without it splitting or it sticking? It's simply that your clay is too wet. So what I tend to do is roll out. So it's, you know, like just a flat piece of clay. It doesn't matter what thickness, really. Just let the air get to the surface a little bit, flip it over, and let the air get to the surface okay. again. Normally... Five, ten minutes might be enough. Depends yep. on the temperature. It depends on the humidity. Once you've done that, and remember, I've, I've conditioned this first. Yes. If I was to start to stretch this again, I'll be dispersing the moisture in there again. So I might sort of make it a little bit stickier again. Now, the clay that you've put out and conditioned, yeah. you do need to use all of that. Because if you were to leave it any longer, it would dry out, would it? Well, could you... You, it wouldn't dry straight away. No. I'm purposely leaving mine out because yep. I will be using it hopefully again during the shows uh, as long as we've got stock of the moles left. Okay. And I, I don't want it to wait because obviously in these conditions, demo in, I haven't got time to wait for it to dry. But at home, do keep yours sealed in the pack. Yep. Make sure when you cut the pack open, you disperse the air out of the pack first ah. of all. That's really important. Yep. Right, seal the pack down. down. Yeah. Seal that down. And put it in an airtight container. Okay. Okay. Yep. And that will, it's got a really good shelf life on it. So we are going to start with the lady. And uh, you, you can go in, in with more than one piece of clay. You don't have to go with a big sheet and just fill it all in one go. Now, this isn't too bad to fill, actually. There are one or two little bits of her hair that are really, really fine. I don't know if we can just see yeah, that. Yeah, we, we can see, see how those. small that is. I'm not using a tool, I'm just using fingertips at the moment. There are one or two moulds that I will use the help of a tool if I can't get into little crevices. But the majority, you know, I just push in with fingertips. Now, for people using these moulds for the first time, and I'm just watching you do that, sitting at home thinking, right, I really want to get a mould. I've got some air drying clay, um, but I've never used a mould before. I can see that you're pressing down quite yeah. hard yeah. in that mould. Would that not disfigure the lady in some shape or form because you're pressing so hard? No, not in the case of these moulds, okay. because they are so, so right. solid. I mean, listen. Brilliant. 80% by the way, it's gone. Oh, wow. I'm so pleased because, do you know, I just think she is beautiful and she can be turned into so many things. I am going to try something else with her. You did kind of steal my thunder a little bit, Janet, and you guessed what I was going to... I did. What I could see. I did. Well, it you may know, work, it may not, because I genuinely haven't tried it well, yet. Well, give it a go. Let's see. Okay. Right, now, what I'm doing here is just filling up the mould, and I do like to use a rolling pin. A, an acrylic one or a nylon one is best, so the sort that you use for cake decorating or if you've got the polymer clay ones. Now I've done that, I can see there's one or two little dells, so I can top up there. Normally I would say really fill the moulds to the top because if you don't, you're not going to compact down yeah. and you're not going to pick that detail up. And that's up. the important part, isn't it? And that's that why you're important. pressing so hard yeah. because it is about compacting it is, that down. Yeah. There is odd occasions, and I will show you that during the shows at some point, where I won't press it all the way down and maybe I'll just pick up certain details. but. In general, I tend to fill up, roll over, and again, I'm going really sort of quite heavy on there. And if you've overfilled, and I'm doing this on purpose to try and prove a point, if you've overfilled, what happens is, can you see at the bottom of the skirt there? Yep. I can see where it's spilled over, but that's so easy to move. And any areas that have overspilled, just pull it away with the fingertip. So the side of the dress there. But this always make sure it goes up to the silicone. side of the mould. Up Got to the you. side of the mould. And then you can start sort of pulling in from the edge as well. Because when you pull in from the edge, you're tidying up all those areas, the intricacy around the bouquet there, yeah. the little bits of hair. You're tidying it all up. If you miss any, you can trim them off afterwards, but it's easier to do it now. Yeah. Now, another little tip I can give you, if you want to really make sure that you've, you've got all that detail, flip it over. Yep. Yeah. Ah, and go on the other side. Just be careful not to sort of move that around too much. Now, that hasn't pulled out, so what I'm going to do now is the reveal. So I'm just flexing the mould, 
And if your clay isn't too wet, can you see how that's just popping upwards? Yep. If it was too wet and too sticky, what would happen is that clay would bend with the mould. It wouldn't just pop out. So just give it a nice flex and then we can tip that out. Wow. And look at the detail. Do you know, it there. amazes me each and every time, even though I know the quality of the moulds, but every time we do a reveal, absolutely incredible. Wow, look at the details in a dress going up to that beautiful bouquet. And you can see all the individual flowers in there as well. You can. Beautiful, isn't it? So if you don't condition the clay, if you don't compact it into the mould, you will miss some of that detail. So yeah. that is important. But what about colouring? Well, obviously with the air dry clay, you know, it's a very porous surface. So you would let that dry yep. thoroughly. It will start to feel dry to touch quite quickly because it's an air dry clay and the surface is drying, but it will take, leave, always leave it overnight, especially if you're sticking onto cardstock because so it don't will use an air out. tool, an air. Do you know what? I, I wouldn't use an air tool. Uh, you can emboss, you can use embossing heat powder. Tool, on, that's yeah, what I'm heat tool. To I wouldn't. I wouldn't recommend it because you can scorch, you can burn. Yeah. If you're very careful, you can use an embossing powder and put detail onto a yes. dry clay, but you've got to be very careful. Okay. I wouldn't use it to dry the clay out no. because you'll dry it too quickly. Okay. And what happens then when you dry too quickly is it can curl. Ah, all right. In fact, this is another tip, and I don't think I've given this tip very often. If it's a really hot summer's day, and it's very warm, and you're do, using air dry clay, it's going to dry very quickly, and you may find that it is curling a little bit. Make your mould, get a damp cloth or a piece of paper towel, and sit it over the top and let it dry slowly. Why would so you not dry it? Ah, because it's, say, what would you put if it's really, really it? hot, yeah. if the temperature is really, really hot, and it's drying too quickly. It, you'll see it curl. Got you. Okay. So if it's really it's warm, a damp cloth over the top, not wet, yep. just damp, yep. that's going to slow down the drying and it's going to dry more evenly. Could you do it with like a uh, paper towel tissue? Yeah, it yeah got you to can do that. No, no, you could do it with a paper that's towel. That's interesting, isn't yeah. it? There you go, brand new tip from our Catherine. Um, <laughs> yeah. Now, the bouquet lady oh. is approaching limited stock, limited stock, brand new today, 1999 657 881. If you quick and get on the phone lines or head to the website, uh, you'll be able to pop one of those into the basket. But we are heading towards limited stock. 657-881 is your item number. The one day special, oh my goodness, we're approaching half the stock. God, this is absolutely incredible. If you want to do any cake decorations, these are food safe. If you then want to craft, then it's worth getting another set if you can afford to do so. Um, don't cross-contaminate, that's what we're trying to tell you. But the detail is incredible. You'll see there you've got the shields. You can use those with any of the letters that you're getting in the set, not just with the A and the B, but they are in that one mould for you just there. But the whole selection of letters are individually detailed. They look absolutely stunning. They really do. And you can see that with the W just at the front there with a bit of gilding wax on. You can see how that's brought to the fore all of those wonderful details. And depending on what colour you're using, it could look like it's made of metal. Imagine that if it was in chocolate, for example, if you're making chocolate with these moulds and then you just have that light dusting over. How amazing is that? Maybe you make and sell chocolate for a living. This could be a brand new way of doing that. Because you've got the full alphabet, uh, they are in the capitals. You could still make chocolate names, for example, or initials. Um, lots of people are emailing in telling us how much they love Zuri and love the moulds and love the quality as well. You can go on the website and have a look at the five-star reviews that we've got. But they really are incredible. And this is proving to be very, very busy. I think you've been waiting for this one. Details on your screen. 141655 is the item number. Uh, it is available on FlexiBuy, so you can divide the cost into two equal payments. Now, it's your one-day special. We've got an elephant for you. Yes, this is a returning favourite. It sold out last time. Um, oh, my word, 60% of the stock has gone. We do have other moulds on the show. We're going to try and show you as many as possible. Uh, you're probably thinking, well, why didn't you come to this sooner if 60% of the stock has gone? We can't get to things quick enough. <laughs> we really can't. So it's a good idea to head to the website and have a look at all the ones that we've got. You can shop ahead. But isn't that elephant absolutely amazing? And you can see there all of that detail that's coming out of that mould. 
sensational it really is 1999 644642 is your item number your bouquet lady she is now limited stock Catherine limited stock uh, right let's head back to Catherine you've got some balls there. okay well I, I was I was gonna go with the one day special but I'm sticking with the bouquet lady because I so want to have a go at this you know we said because yes we thought we could see something so what I've, I genuinely haven't tried this yet so what I've done I've mixed some of the uh, the magenta it's in the pack actually in the kit that we've yep. got all the different plays with I've mixed with some white I'll come back to the chart later I'm not going to go through that now in case this sells out so I've got three balls of clay it's like a magic trick <laughs> in these three cups which one's it under <laughs> <laughs> right so what I'm going to do then I'm going to take a little ball of white clay and put next to that one and I'm going to get two balls of clay so you got they're not exactly the same size but let's pretend they never are, are. okay <laughs> And two next to that. So we've got no, no white, one white, two white. Okay. okay. So let's see if this works. I have no idea. I'm just looking at that and thinking, I think that could be leaves, it could be petals. So all I'm going to do is take some of the pink. And this is where I wouldn't fill the mould because I'm only using a small area. Got you. I think. <laughs> <laughs> so let's have a look. Right, okay. Ah, so, I see what you're doing, yep. Can you see that? I can see. Yep. Let me just turn that to the... Obviously, there's cornflower on this because I've got yeah. cornflower in the mould. So that, to me, does look like the centre of a flower. It could be a rose. It could yeah. be a, or like a tulip. Like tulip lilies. Yeah, it could be something like that. But I quite, I quite like that. Um, but now I'm going to mix the pink with the white. So this is going to make a slightly lighter colour. Okay. And I'm going to do exactly the same thing again. It looks like bacon. <laughs> <laughs> it does. It's, it's only a subtle difference, but it will be lighter, of course. Okay. Okay. So let's go with this one. I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I'm not going to powder this one up anymore because I think we're just doing a small area. We'll probably get away with it. It's a good demo, actually, because it shows you you, you can take sections of the mould and use it. Oh, and definitely. Some great yeah. textures. And sometimes, this happened last time, actually. Which one? It was the butterfly lady. It wasn't until we were going down the counter the first time and I suddenly spotted another use for that ah. one. And I hadn't seen it. Even when I was at home prepping, I hadn't seen it. So now, again, I've got another section there. So that could be a bigger flower, actually. Yeah, but, you know, I, I think this might could work. Could be waves in the ocean. That's another good yeah. point. It could be. So a now waterfall. Got, yeah, waterfall would be nice. I can definitely see the curtains. I did think about making swags and I tails, can definitely but... see curtains for you as well. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I need to draw it together. Um, right, we've had a question from Paul. Hello, Paul. Right, Paul would like to know if there's a shipping delay on the moulds, and that is a very good question. Do you know what? No, there's not. No, there's not. We've got them all here, and they're all ready to go. So that's great news, isn't it? That is fantastic mm. news. Yes, I'm, uh, I'm delighted to say they're here. Here to be shipped from the UK. Yes. They've made their journey, and they arrived with us, which is fantastic. Okay, so I'm just taking a little bit more each time, just so I can see what I've got, see what detail is coming out of this one. So that one again, a little bit lighter. So I've, I've got almost three shades. There's only very subtle differences, but they're there. Okay. If I had a bit more time, I'd probably have mixed them a little bit lighter. But anyway, so I'm looking at this one, and I think that is going to be the centre of my flower, if it, if it does work. So I'm going to actually cut away some of this, and I'm working against the folds. And you might the be working dress. against the clock, Catherine, I might because be we are extremely limited stock now for the woman with the oh. bouquet. But take your time. Don't, don't rush too quickly with those scissors. No, I won't. I won't. Okay, so just following that around. So <laughs> there I've got what I think could be the centre of a flower. Ooh. That, do you know, I might not even cut into that one. I might, I might cut into it. You see, because I've not done this before, I'm not sure the best way of doing this but of course if you don't like what you've done you just roll it up and you start again so I think we'll go with that one there let me just have a look at this one okay right what I'm going to do I'm going to just put a little fold in the bottom of this one and I am going to place that into this petal I think I'll line those centers up so it yeah. looks as though it's three-dimensional and I will Put a little fold in that one as well. Now I can manipulate it. Oh, I can that's shape nice. that. I don't want to squash the edges because the details are already there. That's lovely, Catherine. <laughs> I've never it's done this. That would, actually, that would work for the skirt as well. It would. Janice is laughing, and I don't I know am why. I'm not laughing. <laughs> 
Yeah, I'm just really excited. <laughs> are you? It's what I do when I get excited. I laugh. <laughs> I'm trying to think. It's a, is it a parrot tulip? The one with the really frilly... A parrot petals. tulip. I'm yeah. not sure. I'm not sure. If, if you know is. what a parrot tulip looks like, emailing a photo for us. Right, OK. I'm not going to spend too long doing this, but you could keep working with this. And I'm just starting to add more petals. Do you know, I could do a whole flower using this, and it would be quite large. Can you see... Can yeah, you see how I it's like starting that. to build up? I like that. Very okay. nice. So it's just starting to build. And that's like are. a 3D flower. That's, that's like a 3D. I've only done half a flower there, but I know she, she's she's going to sell out, so I'm going to leave it there with that one. I might finish that later, actually. Yeah, well, you know, if you've got that on a plaque or something, you just, <coughs> excuse me, you just that want would, that coming out actually, towards you. Yeah, that would look quite nice. And I would just use one or two of the bits of clay Yeah. just to sort of lift. Or you could use tin foil. Just to make sure. Until it's dry. Until it's yeah. dried out a little yeah. bit more. Got you. Do you just know keep what? it in shape. I am going to keep that and I'm going to use yeah. it. Keep, keep an eye on this tomorrow. Okay. We'll do, we'll do something else with that. Lovely. I'll keep working uh, with it. Right. Um, very, very busy. If you do want to get hold of your uh, woman with a bouquet, please do check out your baskets and make sure you get her. £19.99. Uh, right. Let's have a look at some of the finished samples that have been created. Oh, look at this. This is amazing. This is Isn't by that uh, from the design team. Uh, one four. 416655 is your item number. Um, how lovely is that? So we've got the frame, but we've got the letter S inside. So you can put any of the letters inside that framework. Absolutely amazing. Uh, we've got another, and now this is a beautiful sample, again, using the frames only with the crown on one and then the flourish on top of the other one with photographs. Now, these are photographs from maybe papers or cardstock, but you could actually put your own photos in there. Now, that would look lovely as a large board as people come into a wedding reception. You know, when we <coughs> excuse me, can start to have people at that wedding reception again, which is really nice. Um, have we got another sample to show? Yeah, oh, this is lovely with a little rock sparrow inside. That is so sweet. And that could be the front cover of a book, for example. Uh, it could be a card, a very fancy card that you want to send out to someone. Absolutely lovely. Or maybe a wall hanging in as well. Now, this is interesting. It's a frame. It placed on so no, that's interesting. I think, I think the frame, it's not one of the Zuri frames, it's the picture frame, yes. but it's the, lady, the bouquet lady Ooh. that's on the tag there that's been painted in very soft, gentle colours. Oh, that's like really that. pretty, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that is gorgeous. really, really pretty. That is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, remember, two payments of £44.98 will get you your full one-day special. And here we go. So here's the letters. You can see here we've got the T, the A, we've got a G there. And they're all different, aren't they? So it's not the same design on each one. So you can really build up your artwork. And you can just put letters randomly on a design, or you could start to spell names because you've got the full alphabet to use. Absolutely, phenomenally busy. Uh, we knew we'd be busy. We weren't sure we'd be this busy because over half the stock, and it's a huge stock by the way, because we know how popular Zuri can be, but uh, we are approaching half the stock. Got over half the stock gone, my goodness. 34 minutes into the first live hour and you're probably thinking, well, why didn't you get more stock? We got a huge amount of stock, a huge amount of stock. And it's all here in the warehouse ready to go. Um, but we've got so many people on the phones and the website buying. So thank you very, very much. We know you're going to enjoy these when you get them home. And I'm sure you've got a whole load of ideas and possibilities to use them for. Um, so two payments of £44.98, 141655. Uh, can we say thank you to Ian for sending in a picture of a parrot tulip? Uh, apparently the flower that um, um, Catherine made. I don't know why I couldn't think of you then. Um, you know... She, uh, <laughs> you, go on, you, um, that Catherine made, did look like a parrot lily. So, well done. A parrot oh, tulip, was, even. Uh, pun? A tulip. Yes, that's the one. <laughs> What did I say? A lily. Oh, did I? That's why I couldn't think of it. Right, we've also had a question from Marilyn. She would like to know if you can use plaster in the moulds. That's a great question, Marilyn. It is, is a great you? question, and the answer is most definitely yes. Excellent. It works and beautifully. We've got another question. Um... Can, can you use chocolate in your demos, please? Do you know, I've got to do this again, haven't I, this yes. hour? I asked the buyer some time ago, can we please do a show just for the edibles using Zuri? I was promised that would happen at some point, but I still haven't been given a date, so I've been kind of holding on for that, and it hasn't happened. But what I'm going to do, if I don't hear, after this one day special, yes. I'm going bring you some chocolate next time, and we're going to do chocolate Catherine, anyway. I like it when you're forceful. <laughs>
little these are perfect for your little chocolate. Little cheeky rebels. These are oh. perfect. I, do you know, we'll, I think we might have to get some more stocking before we can do that. I've yeah. got a feeling this isn't going to last. Probably. Probably. <laughs> uh, right, OK, so that's your one-day special. Very, very busy. We do have other moulds on the show. Please do go and have a look at those as well, because if you want any of the other moulds in your basket, you can divide the cost of everything into two payments because you're doing that already with your one-day special. The website is the best place to go. This is where you can see everything. You can peruse and have a look. Now, you can get individual elements of the one-day special, and that's just splitting them up into different sets of letters going through the alphabet. So um, you could do it like that, but, of course, you're going to want the rest of the alphabet at some time or other. So we've divided the cost of that one-day special into two. We've got the flamingo there for you. We have got um, the, um, the horse in there, which is beautiful. Do we have the butterfly? I the butterfly we woman we have, she's yeah. gorgeous. Yeah, she certainly is. Um, and then we have the resins available for you, clay available for you at great prices as well. And do look at the five-star reviews. You're not getting the butterfly lady confused with me when you said she's beautiful, are you? <laughs> Because you did say I look good at the start of the show. I, I wear butterflies. I said you look very nice. All right. <laughs> what have you got to show us there, Catherine? Okay, let's go. Well, let's go to the one day special. So I'm starting with, of course, the monograms. And that does include letter A and B. But they are completely separate. So you can okay. use them separate and you can change those letters around. I did think about it, Janice, because I've done JP for Janice oh, Phillips. Oh, which we'll, nice. we'll put a little bit I'm of wax you, on in a I'm second. I'm glad you clarified that for Janice Phillips. <laughs> So we're sticking with the air dry clay at the minute simply because again it's nice and easy to work with. I'm just going with the white. Of course you could all also colour this. You, if you're going for the park you've got the black in there. You know lots of us like to start with a white or a black base and then add our colours over the top. Can I ask a question? You're putting that powder in there yep. um, and then you, you know, you're dusting some off. Yep. When you put the air dry clay in, when the clay comes out, does it matter if it's still got a bit of powder on it? No. What you can do, I wouldn't try rubbing it away too much when the clay's still wet because you're going to distort the, the detail. Just leave it and when it's dried out, just give it a little bit of brush. If that doesn't come off, a very, very slightly damp tissue or wet okay. wipe or something would work. But to be honest with you, if you're going to paint over the top, don't even worry about it. It'll right. just disappear. Excellent. Okay. I, I will tell you at home, when I use the clay at home, I don't use corn flour because I know... No, I don't... My favourite saying is you get used to the feel of the clay you know when it's at the right consistency yes. you can tell because it gets a little bit more rubbery a little yeah. bit firmer and I know when to use it there are times and I'll, I'll say this just to cover myself now just in case uh, but there are times during demos because you can't judge the the atmosphere the humidity the temperature in the studio it goes up and down because we've got the air con yeah, or it, it might be turned it off does. or you know sometimes it dries quickly sometimes it doesn't so I try and prep the clay a little bit but there may be times that it does stick a bit in the moulds. And, you know, I'll be quite honest about that. If it happens, it's not the end of the world. What do you do? You take it out, you roll up and you start again. In fact, that will bring me to something else. And um, I did actually see a picture on the Zori page only this week where a lady had said, what am I doing wrong? I've got the air dry clay. This is what's happening when I put it in the mould. And there was a picture of the mould. The clay had been taken out, it was all distorted, and there was remnants of clay left in yeah. the mould. And it, it was the same answer as I always give. The clay was too wet. That yep. was it. The clay was just too wet. Uh, so it's easier to take the clay out, roll it out as I showed you at the beginning, where you roll it flat and let the air get to the surface, rather than letting it dry in the mould, okay. because it doesn't dry very quickly. No. Because it's encased it's in there. Yeah. It's drying on the top, but underneath it's not drying. And what happens is the moisture tends to go further into the mould and yes. makes it stick more. Wow. So it doesn't help. Can it be too dry? We're talking about it being too wet. Can it be too it dry? It can be too dry. If you leave your clay out, you'll know if it's too dry because yes. uh, even if you can push it into the mould, maybe you can get it in there and it's going to pop out really beautifully. But you might find that there's one or two sort of crevices and cracks in the clay that you can't get rid of because it's not conditioned or it's too dry. Yes. Now, so if that happens, oh, go on. you can revive it. So all you need to do to revive the clay is spritz it with water. Excellent. Get a, a water spritzer, just a spray, yep. and do that. If it's totally dry, you're not going to bring it back. But if it's, as long as it's not totally dry, you can revive the clay. Yeah. 
Excellent. Excellent news. Right, I've got some news for you guys at home. Almost 60% of the stock of the one-day special has gone. This is the first hour. It was a huge stock. You started buying just before the hour. Very, very busy. So, your item number 141655, if you have just joined us, that's the information you're going to need if you head to the website or give us a call to let the call centre know, or just tell them you want the one-day special from Zuri. This is the full, complete alphabet with those two beautiful crest frames as well. Now, the A and the B in those frames can be replaced with any one of the letters that you have. And, of course, you can use the A and the B separately from the frames as well. £89.95, you're saving £10 on that collection, but we'll divide the cost into two for you. So, if your budget this month for your craft is £44.98, then that's how much we need. If you're a Freedom member, you don't have to pay any PMP. If not, your PMP is on top of that. If you want to become a Freedom member, that's just triple eight, triple eight in your basket. Your Freedom membership will start today. And then we'll take another payment in a month's time. That's how your Flexi Buy works. It's entirely up to you. If you want to pay the whole price today, then you can do that as well. The stock is here in our warehouse, so we are dispatching it. There is no delay. So that is great news. Uh, right, so the only delay we do have is the clay, and we're dispatching that on the 1st of April. But that's it's not too long to wait, is it? That's uh, Thursday. What, that's isn't Thursday, it? yes. Yeah. It's, when we, it's when we change. Into what? Well, I don't know. <laughs> uh, no, it's when we, it's when our, our new name comes in. <gasps> it is, isn't it? Yeah, the yeah. craft store. And you're doing yeah. the first show. Aren't I'm you? doing seven o'clock in the morning. Mm. Yes, on the first show of the day. I wonder how long it will take for you to say Ho Chanda. <laughs> <laughs> but we're really excited for that. Yeah. I hope you are too. We certainly are. Right now, just as you've been speaking there, Janice, I've just continued adding the clay into the mould. Now, I did say normally I just use fingertips, and again, this one I have, but if, you, if you're really struggling to get clay into certain areas, use something like the rounded end of a paintbrush and just, you know, push that down. You want to make sure that you've got all of that detail in there. Don't be afraid to push on these moulds. They're not going to break. They're not going to split. They are going to last. You know, if you look after these moulds and treat them in the way you're supposed to treat them, mm -hmm. that you are going to make hundreds and hundreds of castings from them. They would be amazing in ice. They would, Don't wouldn't they? Just yeah. put like a display or yeah. something with some ice cream in the middle. Yes. Oh, jelly. Mm. Jelly. Jelly mop. You can put jelly in there. Yeah, you can put jelly in. That would be yeah. amazing. Jelly letters. Yeah. Yeah, mix your own ice cream, put it in the freezer because they'll go down to You can put ice cream 70. in there as well. If you've got an ice cream mix and you want to put it in there, put mm. them in the freezer, you can do that. I wonder if you... I know this is going to sound really disgusting, but bear with me. If you mushed up banana and put it in, because you can turn banana yes. into a, like an ice creamy style substance. Yeah. Give it a go. It, but don't cross-contaminate. Don't cross-contaminate. The only thing I will say is <laughs> you would have to make sure it's nice and smooth. Some of the moulds have got more sort of twiddly bits yes. than others. Yeah. That's, what, that's the only way I can think of saying it. You know, so some will work better than others. This one I'm going to take out. Now, this is the frame with the crown on it. I've yeah. already got one taken out with the other, the other frame on because, again, they're different. They're not the same frame. Yeah, they're just different great, designs. Isn't it? Yeah. Now, if this was too wet... I can tell you exactly, well, you can see, if I do this here now, I've got my finger under there just to push on it underneath. These are the vulnerable areas, these thinner right. bits of the crown. But you can see that's starting to lift. So if anything was going to split, that's likely to be the area there. So, you and know, the way that say, you're bending the, the mould, you're yeah. actually pushing the clay out. Is that how you do right. it? So okay. you're easing I'm it. glad you asked me that, actually. I purposely put a finger underneath there to push on that to show how that would stretch. Yeah. But if you use the fingertip too much underneath where the detail is, that's where you could dis distort the clay. Yes. OK, so try and flex around the edge of it and Got work you. it that way and then okay. that will take it and out and then i'm going to turn that over and just let oh, that drop out let me get the black card because do you know that... what that'd look really nice um on upscaling furniture or on a, yeah, on a pot really or something would. like that it, it really would wouldn't it? you know how these are going to get used don't yeah you? i certainly do just in case you would do <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, so there's one of the frames. I've just taken that out of the mould. Look at these beautiful flourishes here. And, of course, you'll find those details in the letters as well. Yeah, can we have a look at a couple of the letters? We will. Catherine? I'm going to add some wax to these in, in a while. Let's, do, let's get JP. Yeah, so, put in the frame. At the minute, this is a, a black letter. But, of course, all those letters are going to work. You can't see anything at the minute, but you will do in a second. Yeah. Okay, there's the P. They're all going to work. They're all the same height. 
and they're all beautiful. Now that's a good point, isn't it? Yeah, with the with the with they've all got different patterns on there, but they'll all be the same height. So if you're spelling out a name or something like that, they'll all be the same, which would look absolutely they amazing. They will. This is the other frame. So this one doesn't have a crown. This is the way up that it is in the mould. But actually, if I flip this over, Ooh. there's no reason why why you can't have it that way. It works both ways. It really doesn't Do matter. You know what that reminds me of? Like a looking glass. You could put like yeah, a mirror actually, you could turn, behind that. You could, you could put. You know, I did mirrors. try to get the pentat mirror mist on this show yeah, because I was hoping to do that, but we couldn't get the stop. If but not, if you've mirror got card. that mirror card, yeah. a real piece of mirror, yeah. that would work. But if you've got the mirror mist, you could make mi mirrors. Yeah. They would look beautiful. Definitely. Okay. Good so idea. something else, just while I'm here as well. I oh, thought you could have a drink. <laughs> 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 wow, okay. <laughs> if you want to shape to your bottles, yeah. this is the time you are going to apply the clay to your bottles, right. okay? Because it's malleable. You don't wait until it's dry because then you're not going to shape it in the same mm. way. Plus, it is important to say, I'm just going to turn that on its back a little bit. Um, it's important to say as well that with the air dry clay, it will shrink a little bit. You will not lose any detail. It will keep every bit of detail, but it will slightly shrink. And it is only a small amount, but it will shrink. So what I would do there, this is the time I would put a little bit of glue onto wet clay. Normally I say don't put any glue anywhere near it because yep. it makes it go gooey and you, it sticks to itself. But a little bit of PVA or a gel medium. Underneath. To stick underneath it to the, the frame and yeah. it's already in place. Unless, of course, you just want to take that shape, in which case just leave it as it is. Yeah. Now, I could say to you, wrap cling film around there. I was going to ask about you, that. Yeah, you've got to be a little bit careful with the cling film. If the clay is damp or wet because you might squash the detail. How about silver foil? Because that's quite light mm. but heavy. No. No, it would no. cut into the clay. Yeah. I would literally just leave that. If I turn that to yeah. the side, I don't know if we can see from the front camera. That is actually oh, working to the yeah. shape of the bottle. Just gently sort of ease it there. You know, if you've got a special occasion, okay. a special bottle of wine, for example, yeah. or a special bottle of fizz, um, that would be amazing to put on there. Or maybe you make your own wine, yeah. own jam. Yeah. I'd look posh. Hopefully, I'll get this decorated up at some point during the one day special but there is something else you can do as well of course it's your resin which we haven't poured yet so oh, there is the one with the crown it. look at that that is shaped wow. as well now I purposely left the crown so it stood proud rather yeah. than shaping it to the bottle so that stands proud but on this one I don't know if you can you see the curve on that let me just tip that wow. so I've actually shaped the resin so it sits to the shape of the bottle now, that is so easy to do, and if you've watched the shows before, you'll know how easy it is, but we will go through this process They look again. amazing. You, oh, that just looks adorable. And we've adorable. not even started putting in a colour no, on them yet. No, we haven't. So, before I move on, what time have we got? Oh, I don't know if I'm going to get the... Well, about six You've minutes. got to come back at eight o'clock. I thought I was going to do resin this hour, but I'm not going to have a chance to do okay. it. Okay. So, uh, tune in at eight. We'll do resin then. So, we'll stay with... We'll stay with this for the moment. Yep. So, we've got JP. Janice, pick a colour. Uh, any PJ, pyjamas. Uh, PJ. Pick a colour. Um, <laughs> well, I don't, I don't really uh, purple, know. Purple, green, blue, silver, gold. Yeah, all of them. <laughs> now that's just being You green, choose. Yeah. You choose your colours. Oh, should we go with a couple of colours? Let's go with that purple one. And let's mix it with this one. Yeah, which I like is that colour. Gorgeous. Now, we haven't got Viva on today, but there is more Viva shows coming up in the future, so watch out. Lots of you have got the Viva Inca Gold. So the, I, I always call them waxes, but they're water-based, so you yeah. can paint with these. Yeah. So add some water, and yeah. you can paint onto your air dry clay. Uh, but of course, any of your metallic paints are just perfect, of course, for using with, with your clay and to pick up the detail. I'm just going with a fingertip, but you could use a, a brush to add this. Don't go too heavily with it. You know, tap a little bit off onto yeah. a glass mat. Because you can always and put more on, yeah, can't you? can always yeah. put more on. That. Ah, look at the detail. I know. I'm going to blend a bit of that green into there in a second. Let's do the J the other way round. Is this going to go on my dressing room door? <laughs> <laughs> that new dressing room that you've got just for you? <laughs> yeah, it's the toilet. <laughs> the one on the left past reception. That's mine. That's my throne. <laughs> oh, dear. Actually... Uh. You could you could put WC on your toilets at home. You could. You, know, just, you, just could. Put, you, know. you really could. Yeah. Do you know what else you can do as well? Go on. What about if you've got your, a name for your house? Yes, I have. Have you? Yes. Oh, so have I. So have you? <laughs> I'll tell you your. I'll tell you yours if you tell me mine. I mean, I'll tell you mine if you tell me yours. After the show. Well, mine's a cottage, isn't it? Mine's Rose Cottage. 
And the, dog, the dogs have got a little dog house called Rosebud Cottage. Oh, Rosebud <laughs> Cottage. That's lovely. That's lovely. Mine's called Bradgate View. Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh. Everybody's got oh, oh. Everybody, oh. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> so there we've got, let's put that on a little bit of white card so we can see. Yeah. So we've got JP. Oh, that looks amazing. For Janice Phillips. Let's just give that a little bit, bit of a tell. Look how that detail comes out. That's Isn't incredible. that beautiful? And everybody can achieve that. Yeah. Can I just tell you as well how I did achieve that? And this is, this is why I want you to come back at 8 o'clock if you've never seen the resin before. I did spend time pouring all of the alphabet in the resin. Because these moulds are a matte finish, they Put come out with the fr frosty effect. But I have shown before how you can make them clear, and we'll, we'll wow, go through that at, at that. some point. Now, the ones that I've just done yeah. were actually resin, but I wanted the black base, so I did paint with black gesso, okay? Oh, so you, you put so the resin in. it started like that. And then you did black gesso? Yeah. So well, once it occurred, yep. Yeah. So that's painted with black gesso, but yeah. at 8 o'clock, not yeah. only have we got the resin, but we've got the resin tint back as well, which what if you do? can, it colours the resin, so that it's available in lots of different colours. Yeah. If you're going for two colours, black and white would be my top two, because... That's the great base for everything, black yeah. and white. Yeah. The nice thing about colouring the resin rather than painting gesso is, look at the fine detail. If you're a bit heavy-handed with yeah. your paints and yeah. your gesso, you're going to fill that detail. Yeah, you are. So if you pre-coloured the resin, you haven't got to worry about that. What a great idea. You will get the crispest detail. You would even sell the difference between that yeah. and one that hadn't been gesso, even though that looks amazing. Janice Girl. <laughs> Janice Girl. Where's the frame Or gone? Janice Go. Look, I'm even going to give you. I'm even going to give you a little crown look there. Aww. And that's when this lovely. is dry, we'll paint that up as well because that's air dry clay. So there's nothing to stop you mixing the two different mediums as well. You can work with so so much in air dry clay, so much with resin as well. You've got different options. Another thing I'm mentioning outside. There was a reason for that. We did have. Was it Marilyn who asked about? Plaster, I think yes. it was. Yeah, you can use Plaster of Paris. Also, you'll have seen me bring the concrete before. I was say, yes, the Viva. that would be amazing. Yeah, that is amazing. Also, on the show, and again, it's going to be 8 o'clock now, but we have got, and I always get asked about it, we've got the Medina Air Dry Polymer. We've got this on the Ooh. show. This is very different to the Hearty, but you can put it outside as well. Okay. And it's so easy to use. It? And it's brilliant with the alphabets. Wow. You must come back at 8 o'clock. We've got more demonstrations. Catherine will be with Adam at 8 o'clock tonight. And I need to tell you that over 60% of the stock of the one-day special has gone already in the first hour. Wow. We didn't think we'd be that busy because it was a huge stock. So well done, everyone, for getting on the phone line and getting on the website and checking out your baskets as well successfully for that. You do need to make sure you check out your baskets to make sure you get your one-day special. If you have put it in there and it stays in longer than 10 minutes, it might come out and someone else might get it. We don't want that to happen. So with your one-day special, you're getting the full set of the alphabet. You're getting those two beautiful frames. You can put any of the um, letters into the frames and you can use your A and your B separately as well. They're just in that top frame set to complete that alphabet for you. Two payments of £44.98. and pence. That means we'll take one payment today, plus your PMP. Freedom members know PMP to pay. And then we'll take another payment interest-free in a month's time. If there's anything else you want on the show, any of the clay, or maybe you want to go for some of the other moulds, anything else you put into your basket when you've got your flexi basket open will also be divisible into two payments. Oh, my word, you lucky, lucky people. Uh, Catherine, thank you so much for the show. Thank you very much. We'll see you again at 8 o'clock tonight with our Adam. Do check out your baskets and have a look on the website for all the other moulds we've got available for you. We'll be seeing you after the break in a few moments time but again thanks to Catherine and uh, we've got Leonie coming up next so we'll see you after the break right the happy planner is up next get yourself organized and have fun at the same time sorry designs one day special back at eight and then Frenchie is returning at nine
exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, Hochanda has been awarded the top accolade of Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we're honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 Hochanda customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, I'm Nikki Hassan. I've been working with Heartfelt Creations for about nine years now. Heartfelt Creations as a company launched the company back in 1994. They have been in the industry for a very, very long time. They are crafters, so they know what you crafters want and they listen to us crafters too. Their products range from stamps that coordinate with dyes that then coordinate with a paper pad. But then we also have storage folders, we have decorative dies, we have colouring daubers, we have Insta albums. One of the products that really make Heartfelt unique are their flower shaping moulds, where you can make easy, quick, three-dimensional flowers, which are absolutely stunning. So I hope you can join Heartfelt Creations here on Achanda. Hi, I'm Gina Barrett from Gina B Silkworks. We're a family company specializing in traditional crafts for the modern maker. Most of our products involve textiles and age-old techniques, from button making, lace making, weaving, and other forms of passementry. Mark and I work hard designing the kits and developing innovative tools to make all of these traditional crafts more accessible to the modern user. We're really pleased to be part of the Hochanda family and I'm looking forward to being able to take time and demonstrate some of these techniques and share new ideas. I hope you'll be able to tune in to the Gina B Silkworks shows here on Hochanda. Hi, I'm Anna and I'm a founder of Craftbox UK. Craftbox is a box full of craft supplies that we send to our customers monthly. All products are placed in a beautiful, sturdy box, which is ribbon tied, and we hope that by receiving this box, you will feel like it's Christmas every month. Make sure you don't miss the Craftbox shows on Hochanda. heard of Hachanda Freedom? Did you know that as a Hachanda Freedom member you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Hachanda Freedom members badge, regular newsletters, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a Chanda more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away, or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888, and join a Chanda Freedom today. For the past six years, a Chanda has been your home of crafts, hobbies, and arts. We've got some exciting news. We've got a brand new name. From April the 1st, we'll be changing our name to The Craft Store. This will make it easier for you to find us when scrolling through your TV channel guides and searching for us online. Nothing else is changing, we'll be the same Achanda that we've always been. We're, We're just getting a brand new name. Demonstration led, full of inspiration and variety, with our own dash of personality. Welcome to The Craft Store, your home of everything crafts. Hello everyone, I hope you're well. Uh, wow, we've got another fabulous show with the Happy Planner and of course lovely Leonie. I will be 
handing over to Leone in a moment's time, but I did want to introduce you to the brand new set that we've got for you in this show. This is the black and white collection, and my word, this is absolutely stunning. It really, really is. £93.34 pence can be divided into three payments. You are saving £11 on that deal, and with that flexi buy, of course, anything else that you have into your baskets, you can divide into three payments as well. 890271 is your item number. Now, there's lots more for you to choose from on the website. In fact, there's nearly 50 items, which is amazing. Um, so have a look at everything available to you. Choose wisely. And then when you get them home, you can start planning away. But it's also about having fun as well. It's not just putting in birthdays and things like that. It's about getting yourself together and planning your life, which is amazing. Amazing. Uh, right. And there is lots to plan for this year. Year. There really, really is. So lots of different items on the website. Have a look, have a peruse, and have a choose. And we've got a lovely Leone up now. Mercy Buku. Mercy Buku. Um, I will show you in more detail on the overhead, but I'll just give you a quick overview of what you've got in this bundle now. Uh, we've had three shows, one three and this one seven um so we've had three shows and each one we've shown brand brand new collections from the happy planner gang so if there's anything you missed out on please check it out um and they're all such cool collections i think this might pick the po pick the post for me i think this might be my favorite favorite uh, because i really like this black and white look it's amazing i'm gonna start at this side you know to mix it up uh, first of all we've got the super large stickers now these are gorgeous they're a clear sticker apart from of course um the the black outline there but they're beautiful you've got the florals there you have multiples of each letter which is essential and i love the super size of these i mean they're quite dramatic aren't Aren't they? You might be using them in your planner, in your notebooks. Um, you know, it's one of those that you'll use for all sorts, quite frankly. So you've got your stickers, absolutely gorgeous and really, really uh, beautiful details. So that's your first bit of this collection. The next bit of the stickers now. This is your black and white collection. This has gone individually. Should be £19.99, but obviously you are getting um, £11 off in this uh, collection. So that's a good way of your, getting your stickers for now. Now, what you've got here, you've got loads of beautiful stickers, but of course, it's your black and white collection. So all black and white stickers, I really like these. If you are thinking of um, maybe um, you want to get, sorry, let me get the elastic off. Maybe Maybe you want to get a sticker collection for um, for your hubby, for your brother, um, you know, any male uh, rel friend, rel I'm getting myself, any men. <laughs> I mean, why am I even going down that route? Um, I think it could be quite masculine, this one. That is exactly what I'm trying to say. It's good for everybody. Um, it doesn't have to be too fussy, which I think is really important. So you've got your stickers, beautiful. You've then got, and I'll just show you this one. So you've got your 12-month planner. Now, this is, I love this because this is about your budget. This is about, um, and again, I will show you this in more detail, um, when we get to the uh, the, uh, the overhead, but I really like this one. I love my budget keeper, my budget planner. It's really, really handy. And this is a really good one because obviously it's going to fit in your uh, your handbag. So that one's your 12 month uh, budget planner. As I say, essential. It is available individually. If you do want it individually, it's just there at the bottom of your screen. And it starts June 2020, uh, July 2021. You haven't missed any. Anything. So don't think you're going to invest in any of these and it's already, you know, halfway through the year or whatever it is. Um, you haven't missed anything. Starts in July. So you've then got in this collection... Yeah, adding pages. These are always ridiculously handy. Um, our gang, we share these uh, because you might want to put just a few of these in your planner. Now, it should be five ninety nine. They have gone individually. This is your classic size, and so much to do. So great for your lists is this one, and you can see double sided, and it's got all those little squares. So fantastic um, for for making lists, whatever you need to list. And you have got how many pages have we got there? I'm not so sure. Is it 50? Um, Miss Lottie is on it. 40. 40. 
<laughs> for tea, what's for tea? Two flapjacks, <laughs> two two chocolate brownies and a packet of crisps. Um, for zero. Um, next we have got for you, and I'm just going to pop that down so I don't knock anything over. I'm going to pop that down as well. I know what my elbows are like. Um, so next you have got, and this again, absolutely beautiful. So you've got your 18 month um planner now again absolutely gorgeous this is such a good planner this should be 32 pounds and 99 pence um it has gone individual uh, classic size vertical layer i love it i really like this i mean it's brilliant for do coloring in if you want to color it in but i really like the palette they've used on this i think it's absolutely fabulous and um, that's your planner it's a huge planner i mean this bundle is massive when you look at what you're getting that's a massive planner 18 month planner and then you've got and i love it because look at all the different sort of planners that you've got but they're all different and this this I love. Um, this is your guided journal. Now, you've got 80 sheets in here and four dividers. Now, you've got all your prompts. And this is, I really like planners like this. Because sometimes you can look at a notebook and go, mm, I don't know what I'm doing. These are really good. And you know what? They really, really encourage um, positive thinking. They really encourage your gratitude list. They really encourage mindfulness. I, honestly, it's a brilliant investment, this one. Really like it. When you look at this bundle, you've got three planners that completely give you something different. You know, that one is amazing. You've got your proper planner, but then you've got your budget one as well. Honestly, that is such a strong collection. Um, you've then got your guide. Now, I'm, I will warn you straight away. Um, this is actually for the large size, the big one. And the big is what we had in the first bundle this morning. That was a big planner. Or you can use it um, the notepad as well. So what you've got in here, these are really good, actually. What you've got, we might have the classic size on the website. I'm not sure. But what it allows you to do... You put this on, I did use it in last hour actually, you put that on your page and it allows you to plan your page. Obviously these have been designed for the large, uh, not the classic size that we've got here. However, oh wait a minute, have we not got this in this bundle? Right, this might not be in this bundle. Aha, uh -huh. this is a separate thing. So that's, that's okay, because actually it makes sense because it doesn't fit with this bundle. That makes sense. <laughs> now then, there you go. That makes sense. We'll just take that away and pretend that didn't happen. Um, <laughs> um, now, okay, forget that bit. Rewind. Boop, 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 boop. Right, this all obviously makes sense, and it's an amazing bundle. If you do want to get hold of this, absolutely gorgeous, brand new, part of the Happy Planner collection, and almost 20% of the stock has gone with an £11 saving. 890-271 is your item number. The budget planner is now the only thing available individually, but that is limited stock. So if you do want that, please check your baskets out. One, two, three, three, zero, eight. Okay, let's go and show you more detail. Have a look at the website. Now, the Happy Planner. We have got a Happy Planner store for you. And what we mean by that, um, you can shop any time with the Happy Planner with here at Achanda. So if you shop by brand, it'll show you all the goodies that we've got. And honestly, we've got a really nice store. And do you know what? The big deal is, it's all here in the UK. So it means you don't have to wait for this to be uh, delivered from America. You don't have to worry about the extra postage. It's here, it's in our warehouse. The expanded disc, we've got them. So we've got the expanded disc, we've got some really cool bundles. We've got individuals as well, like the recipe books, the guided journals there. Um, and we've got some really nice stickers as well. So please have a look at that. The wellness stickers are gorgeous. I really like those ones. So please have a little look at our store. It is open all the time. The budget planner has now gone individual. The only way you can get anything on this sh on this uh, bundle is in the bundle. So if you do want it, please check your baskets out. But yeah, please make sure you do have a little look. And remember that this, you know, if you're after some happy planner, do check our web web website, our website because we might just have it in stock for you, and it will be in stock. That's the important bit. Okay.
so what we've got first of all i always like to show you um like this so you can see in more detail what you're going to get i really like this planner i think it's gorgeous so first of all your 2021 planner as ever i mean look at that straight away that's well cool isn't it really really like that i love how bold it is i love the the type that they've used there i think it's absolutely beautiful and as i say i think this could be great for men or women it's quite um you know it it's very neutral isn't it now when you're looking as ever you've got your um your year your calendar year so you've got 2021 and 2022 love that because you can plan ahead for 2022 you've then got 2021 in slightly more detail there and then as ever, we come into our month, splitting it up. So your dashboard is going to give you your notes and ideas, what to focus on, all your special dates within July. So really, really nice layout again. Your dividers, and I really like that. I think that's quite fabulous. A cheeky bit of gold in there. Um, we are never finished becoming who we truly are, which is lovely. And yeah, and again, you've got your, uh, your month at a glance, and this will allow you to plan your month out um, straight away, and then then your actual layout. Now, I've already started playing with this one. I really like the layout. It is your vertical layout. And it does, as I've pointed this out on all the shows and I've taken mine out, but they've started giving a little thing to tell you about layouts. This is a vertical layout. I love it because you've got plenty of room. This is obviously before the pen um, and it's got plenty of room to still put all your sort of plans. But I really like the stickers. I, I just think it's nice. Obviously, you can introduce colour. You know, you can do what you want with this. But that, the vertical layout, I'm not going to lie, it is my favourite. Because you've got all that space. It's just gorgeous. Let's have a look at a few of those wonderful um, page dividers. Oh, okay, this is busy. I think this has been the busiest, actually. Almost a quarter of the stock gone. You can have no idea what you're doing and do it any... You can have no idea what you're doing and do it anyway. My life. <laughs> <laughs> lot is Korea, my whole life. <laughs> um, uh, hold on. Follow your passion. Um, what's that one? Lead with love. Say yes to adventure. You are enough. Positive, 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 which is quite fabulous. What's about this one? Zebras. Love that. I love that. I, I like all the positive and then some zebras. I think that's fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. One more, one more. Um, be okay with being yourself beautiful so really really nice planner and remember this is your 18 month planner this is a big planner so a cracking to get you started um, and you can take some of it out this is what i've done okay let me show you mine you don't need to you don't need to carry around all the months what i've done with mine and mine started in july but i've taken my first few out and i will take the rest out i've actually put the the first few in another planner however if you get your extra discs which we have got on the show you can actually take what you need out and put the extra put it on the extra discs so essentially you're making your own planner it allows you to build up your literally your own planner you can do whatever you want with this you know and mine it's funny it, it, it starts to evolve and really become you you know and I love it because you start to you start to see it change you start to see your, your you know the way you do your layouts differently and everything it's absolutely beautiful so you do you you definitely get your style now that's what I've done with mine. So that's what you can do with yours. Take your, your pages out, what you don't need straight away, but you keep them safe. Have a look on the website for the, um, the expander discs. The disc system is brilliant. This is why I love the Happy Planner. I think um, they're absolutely a market leader in the planning business because everything's ingenious. You know, everything makes sense and beautiful. They're just beautiful. Like this system where you can just peel this off but then slot it back in again is brilliant. Now your next one, your journal. I really like the guided journals. I think they're very cool indeed. It tells you a little bit about it. The weekly and daily prompts um, in your Happy journal 
journal act as a guide for getting started. Take note where you are, where you want to go and the goals you want to achieve. Feel free to use a prompt or your own imagination to create your own. Um, the most important project you'll ever work on is you. Absolutely. And whew, sometimes don't we need some work? Um, now, <laughs> um, and this is brilliant because look at all these prompts. I also like the way it's giving you the layout because if you've got this and then you've got one of your notebooks, this is giving you ideas on how to do your layout. This month's big goals and it's not dated. So you fill this in as and when you want. Don't feel you need to keep it all the time. You just fill it in when you want it to, to, you know, to make an impact on your life. Your monthly habit tracker, which is very good. Um, list three things that can help you achieve your goal. Three things that inspire you. Write some positive things that will come from accomplishing your goals. So again, it's all that positive thinking. And I really like that because it really does help you um, focus. You know, and it really does help you stop sort of being wee all over the place and get some focus in your life. I do like that you've got blank pages as well in here. So you have got all that beautiful guided journal, loads and loads of inspiration. I like that page. I think that's really, can you see the writing on there? That's lovely. Um, take time to be proud of how far you've come. That is so nice. Really like that. It's very subtle, but, um, oh, there's a word and I can't think of it. Utterly gone, but I like that. N minimalist isn't the one. Un it's an un -da -da -da, but I can't. Understated. Thank you, Lottie. Lottie, the voice in my head providing me words. Um, so, you can't go, Lottie. I will never have any words. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be lost. <laughs> I'll just be saying the same words, Lotta. Um, next, you've got your 12-month planner. So, with yeah, every now and again, email me in some words <laughs> to use. Try these words, Leone. These are great. <laughs> now, this one, I really like this. Really, really like this. Your budget layout. Our budget layout makes it easy to track your spending expenses and payment due dates while staying on top of your weekly and monthly to-dos. Honestly, this is a cracker. And this is going to sit alongside any of your normal planners. Um, and that's the thing with planners. You'll have different ones for different jobs. This is an essential in my book. I've got my budget uh, planner and honestly... I really, I enjoy actually keeping track of my pennies on, because it, it's about time. I used to do it when I was a kid, lost track, and now it's like, come on, kid, you need to start doing that again. You were way more sensible when you were a kid. Um, okay, I mean, that piggy bank were decent when you were a kid. Now it's, it's crying. So what you've got, your budget review. So your expected spend, this is for July. This is a dated one. And I like that because I think with your budget, it's good to have a data planner. I like the... Um, the way it's set out as well, because it is set out like a regular planner. So you've got your month in advance, so you can use it as your regular planner. So this could be in your your, um, your bag, definitely. I think it's cracking to have it in your bag. But then you've got, so I'd absolutely use that. In fact, I should have this one. I'd absolutely use that. And then I'd have, um, this would be filled in for all your, your money. So you've got your the day, the bills, category, amount paid. So it's really helping you keep track of everything. You've got weekly expenses there. So, of course, it's allowing you to keep up to date with those weekly expenses. Slow progress is still progress. So, keep, again, that might be that might be the money. But actually, this is where you can make it into your own planner. So this is where you can actually break it up for July and make that into maybe your list, maybe your things to do, your goals for July. So it doesn't have to be just your budget. Um, but yeah, really, really like this one. And again, it is your 12-month one. So you've got loads and loads of space there to, to really plan that, um, that year. That is essential, absolutely essential. And you've then got in this bundle, see, it's a bundle that keeps on giving like this because these are your lists um these are brilliant for your normal planner because you're writing all your fantastic lists um it's got your little markers so you can tick them off as you go down which we like um double-sided so it's going to give you loads and loads of space it is your classic size so it'll fit in here perfectly and you are getting 40 sheets and all you need to do is just clip them onto your rings and boom 
you're away. Of course, you can take those out whenever you want, and that is the beauty of the Happy Planner system. Those discs are amazing. Um, you've then, of course, got the stickers. We love stickers. And the thing is, we're um, Happy Planner. This is what makes it fun. So not only you're planning and, you know, budgeting and all that business, getting organised, but then you've got that creative thing. You know, you can start using these to create your own, um, your own drama. You create your own uh, beautiful layouts. You create your own patterns. And there's always, I really like these stickers. Uh, beautiful, capable, wonderful, lovable. Never forget how wildly capable capable you are. I love the patterns. I think they're gorgeous. You can add colour to this if you want to, but I really like that black and white um, base. I think it's gorgeous. A beautiful day begins with a beautiful mindset. So again, encouraging you to, you know, to, to think good. Um, busy day, lazy day, the plant errands, fry, yay! Um, I like the, the clean blocks. I like them for breaking up a page. You've got a little bit of gold in here as well, which is nice because it gives you that a little bit of a shine. And then these are beautiful. These are your clear stickers. I do love clear stickers. Obviously, I've already been raiding this one, uh, but beautiful. Um, no one has ever become poor from giving, which is lovely. Um, and Frank, new month, fresh start, set goals, celebrate each little victory. Wonderful uh, day ahead. Um, you can, you will. See, really, really gorgeous. Love that. And then talking of stickers, you've got the big ones. Do, do, do. And these are beautiful, really pretty font, and they just look absolutely exquisite. And with this, it's your sophisticated florals. Of course, because they're clear, whatever you put them over, it's going to shine through, and I like that. In fact, that's what I'm going to do with something like this. So, with something like this, I'm going to show you this because straight away, just because. So, with your, your wonderful planners, you can do whatever you want with them. So that's my regular planner. But this one is that beautiful guided, um, your guided journal, which I absolutely adore. Now, if you've been making your backgrounds, which of course I have on that crafters workshop um, show, you can take something like this, then actually using your punch, you can then use your beautiful backgrounds to put in your journals. Now, the way to do this, I don't follow, in fact, because look, this is going to go in my classic. What I actually do is look exactly where I'm punching. So I eyeball this because I find that the easiest way personally to make sure it's right. If you are going for this, um, then what, sorry? It's going to be three flexes. Oh, £12.66. pence. Because if it's in your bundle, in your black and white collection, because you do get your three flexes, so you can put that in there as well. It punches exactly the same as your planners. Now, the, the best thing about your planner system, that punch is going to fit in your classic, but it's also going to fit in your lovely little mini. Can you see? because it's exactly the same space in between. But it would also fit, let me just get my big one. It would also fit in the large, because it's exactly the same width in between all of those. That, I think, is genius. And that's what allows you to make these yours. And you can mix them up again and again. So if this is going to go in here, and I love having your journal, um, and having your, your planner and putting your own artwork in it because that, oh, now the punch, limited. So if you do want to get hold of the punch, limited stock, do not miss out on that. Okay, so let's see what I want to put on here. I want to put dreams on this one. So now, be, me being me, I love it. It's planner Sean. I'm not planning this. I'm just putting them on. But I want to. Now, look at that. Because they are a clear sticker, See, I really like that because it makes an impact straight away. You're getting multiples of each letter, so it really allows you to um, to to use these quite a lot. What I do love as well with these, you might be just putting your, your D there and then the rest of it, it might be your um, your writing. You know, you might be putting your own, your own brush lettering on there. Or you might be getting something from here, but I can't find a D now. 
uh, that starts with D, I knew it. Why did I even think that would be a good idea? So something like um, coffee first, but something that starts with a D. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so, well, if you pretend that, uh, that Renell, so you take your little lazy day and you could actually chop off the L. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? So... I know exactly like this. Okay, so take this one. I better put my R back first because. <laughs> so you take this one, right? And so that's new day. So with this one, I'm going to have my new like this. So my new's going to come across here like this. And then my day, I'm going to chop my D off. Like so. And this is my D for my day. See what I mean? Boom, new day. I quite like that. That's cool. And then, phew, glad I found a D in there. <laughs> and then, <laughs> I weren't really thinking ahead, not planning. And then let me put my R there, like so. My E. I'm choosing dream, so because I know how to spell it. That's my, my lovely little E. Like this. And I'm having it linking up. Because that looks pretty. Look at those. Aren't they beautiful? Oh, and that fits in gorgeous. New day dream. Oh, I wouldn't have done that if I'd have planned it. <laughs> Get me here. Like that. And I like how you can line them up perfectly. And because they're a clear sticker, look, you can't really see the, the stickery join. Gosh, I like these a lot. And then get your... Mm, so get your... Mm, like this. <laughs> I wondered, I wondered who that voice was. Who's that? Who's, who's that? No, oh, <laughs> Um, I really like that. I think that's gorgeous. And I think, I think for it, oh, I want another one now. I want another one of these that's got an M on it. Um, let's have a look. Busy, busy day, new day, not today. Wonderful, slow down. No, I'm not going to find one now, am I? Oh, Kirsty's on it too. Come on, Kirsty. We need to, oh, make this day count. Boom. <gasps> Oh my gosh, this is perfect. See, folks, and think what you can do when you actually do plan what you're doing for your demo as opposed to going off on a tangent. But, oh, I'm so happy with that. Oh, gosh. See, these stickers are brilliant. Look how beautiful that looks. New day, dream, make this day count. It actually fits in as well. It actually works perfectly. <laughs> So tough with that. And then that, of course, you can put in your guided journal. So it's up to you. You might be splitting those pages with your own artwork. The punch will allow you to put your own artwork in there and doesn't that look good? I'm so pleased with that. Um, now, those stickers are all part of this bundle. That bundle is absolutely amazing. You've got your beautiful stickers. You've got your... Um, your journals, you've got your extra pages, you've got your budget planner, which is amazing, and then those beautiful, sophisticated, alphabetical stickers. Now, I'm going to pass over to Janice, the, the lady with the stick. Got a stick, Vic? Well, yes, I have. You've caught me there. I do apologise. I've just been picking things up around the studio, tidying up, socially distancing from dirt. There you go. That's what that's all about. <laughs> right, let's change the details and introduce you for the first time, if you've not seen it before, the Indigo Collection. I shall just place that down there. Uh, now, this, I really like this. Um, now, nothing is available individually. It is as a collection, as the bundle suggests. £96.94, and pence, but it is divisible into three payments of £32.31. and pence. Right, let's start with our larger book. Do you know what I like about these as well 
sometimes you will get diaries and books and this is really nice because you've got that wipeable element and let's face it you know when we are planning the day oh, yeah. we might be drinking tea having some cake Indeed. Jam and, and uh, toast. yeah you know what you that's it sometimes first thing in the morning you don't want to get it all dirty or if you put it in your bag and something leaks and you don't want that so you've got that really nice wipeable easy to access as well with the ring system that you've got with the happy planner and then you can start going through you can put your notes in there so you can start writing your notes or drawing nothing stopping you from drawing in there uh, and using it like a journal for example but it's really nice isn't it just to put down your ideas your notes could be poems could be recipes uh, it could be all kinds of different um, uh, ways of planning your day uh, so you've got the dividers in there as well so you could have separate notes for different things so let's place that back on there it's a nice weight to it as well uh, where should we go next should we go to the top Yes, let's go to the top. I'm going to lift this up if I can. Um, now, this is your mini notebook, and you've got here, start each day with a grateful heart. Uh, and that's really nice. Do you know what? You could actually write in your notebook the things that you're thankful for each day. Uh, and maybe things that, yeah, like working with Leone, for example, uh, working with our lovely Kirsty on floor, uh, working with Lottie, working with Hannah. Um, and you can write all of those ideas in there, which is really nice. I like the colour of the pages as well. It's always nice to be inspired, isn't it? Um, and it's just, it's, it's nice, isn't it, to, to, to say the people you're working with. I don't know why I get in trouble with for that. If I don't mention anybody or leave anyone out, I get into trouble. And if I mention people and say the lovely, you know, I get in trouble. I cannot win. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write that in my hopes, dreams, wishes and plans the plan for me is never to mention anyone's name uh, now I love this this is your mini planner and this is something that's going to go with you and it's going to be at hand at all times so it'll fit in your bag it could be a handbag could be a man bag if you've got a bag shaped as a man that is now if you open this up you'll see you've got all of your months but no uh, particular year so you can start using this at any time and that's what we love about the happy planner you've got your 2021 then to go into and uh, you've got your spaces in there to start to write in and you've got all your tabs down the side as well so very very easy to open up and also to use flat as well which is important that's the design of it so that's your take out and about with you let's place that on there uh, have i done the one next door to it yes i have i've done both of those now let's go underneath to this one right here love yourself now this is a classic size actually um and again you can use this on your desk starting in july 2021 and then you can start working your way through that but it's a good color tone to it isn't it that blue really nice how you've got your different ways of putting in information so you've got your days planned as you can see there uh, maybe you've got things to buy maybe you've got things on your wish list for example here's a good idea why don't you just turn this into a wish list and maybe leave this open on your desk for your husband your girlfriend your boyfriend your sons or your daughters your mums your dads your granddads your grandmas or whoever you live with uh, to read so know what you want and maybe they can buy you or not yeah maybe your dog as well uh, if they can order online uh, but you've got all your tabs in there which is brilliant so let's pop that on there. Good weight to that as well. Do you know what I mean by that? So it's good to have a good weight too, isn't it? Uh, right, your sticker books. Um, these are fabulous, aren't they? Uh, let me just, I'm going to pick this up if I can. Uh, this is your Indigo sticker pad and you've got, is it 30 sheets in here? Wow, you've got 500 stickers all with that beautiful indigo tone in there so lots of different stickers to use not just in your planners you could use those for some of your card making as well if you want to you've got that lovely tie to keep them all in place and then you have got your alphabet i like this and it's not just any old alphabet it's a big alphabet oh is that rainbow colors when i tilt that let me get that oh yeah i like that can you see that when the light hits it very, very nice. Oh, it's all about alphabets. A one day special is about the alphabet. Um, and these are fabulous as well. Love those. Um, right. Three pence of 32 pounds and 31 pence if your choice is the indigo. And of course, anything else that you put into your basket will be divisible into three payments as well. Now, 
Do you like flowers? Do you like florals? Do you like pastel colours? Then maybe this is the one for you. Maybe you're a gardener. Maybe you've got uh, a business uh, to do with gardening, a garden designer, for example. Maybe it's something you're thinking about going into. So this one is going to um, be attractive to yourself. You know, you have one of those deja vu moments, Leone. Oh, yeah, I feel yeah, like, oh, have we had this on before? No. Wow. Then I've, dre to. I've dreamt this whole sequence. Boom. That just felt... I love that. It's I a think bit unnerving, that, isn't it? I love it. That's really weird. That's really weird. It's um, good though, isn't it? Maybe this is something of your dreams. Um, <laughs> but it is absolutely beautiful. I really like this. So you have got your whole collection here. Saving £10 on this deal, uh, which is great. I do love your larger size. Uh, let's, again, you've got that nice protective uh, cover to it, that wipeable protective cover so let's face it sometimes when we're sitting down at breakfast we are planning our day writing items into our diary things that we need to do and you've got some really good large spaces here also down the side as well so if maybe if you want to use some of your stickers down there you can do uh, and then you've got of course your tabs down the side of your december january february march and november you can start this at any time as well uh, right next up let's go to the top right here now this, if I just take that and show you here, uh, you've got your elements to place into your diaries that you've got already existing. Uh, purpose, fuels and passions. Uh, so you've got lots of pages in there and with your filler papers and your dividers, you can use your inks and your doodling and you can draw onto these if you want to or you could just use them as a beautiful artwork that you already have on there. Uh, let's pop that back on there. Pop that back in there. There's so much you get, isn't there? Uh, and remember, you can divide that cost. So if you're a Freedom member, there's no P and P. Stay there. P and P to pay today. Uh, let's head down to the bottom. Happy. First time I said that. Happiness blooms from within. Now, that is inspirational from the get-go, isn't it? Uh, now, if I just hold that with my chin, but I can still talk at the same time, I can open this. Oh, yeah, my mic is covered up. Oh, do you know what? Let me just... Pop that down like so. Uh, right, now you've got 80 sheets in here. Uh, be patient, be loving, be kind, be gentle. I've got a shirt like that. That is lovely. What a lovely image that is. We can start to open this up. And again, it's inspirational, all the different um, areas that you can write in. You can doodle in, use your stickers on as well. And you get to add the date, which is brilliant. And you've also got the prompts at the top as well. What do we say there? How do you... I've got my glasses on, can't see. How, can I? Can I just turn it around for a moment? Sorry, yeah. That still doesn't help because I haven't got my glasses on. Um, how do you... How do you... I've not got my glasses on. So, yeah, could you zoom in? That would help tremendously. I know. Do you know what... Do you, do you, one thing that I put in my journal, remember to take your glasses with you everywhere. Ah. There you go. Ah, how you strengthened your mind. There you go. So all the things that you did that day to strengthen your mind. The kindness uh, to you today. Or how about kindness to other people as well? Uh, things that can inspire you to be kind to everybody. Um, I wasn't getting at anybody. Just today, I was in the queue at the local supermarket and a care worker was beside me and I just wanted to pay for all her stuff because sometimes... You have to be kind, don't you? Uh, right, next up, you've got your sticker book. You've got your sticker book. Um, I keep those things personal and private, but, you know, I might have done. Um, right. <laughs> you've got your sticker book in here and you've got your lovely colours in here. 509 pieces in total. And you've got your alphabet as well. Absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful flowers. Talking of beautiful flowers, our lovely Leone. Uh, let's head back. <laughs> Over to our beautiful flower right now. <laughs> what flower would you be, Leone? <laughs> Dandelion. <laughs> oh, well, I'll tell you something. <laughs> Dandelions are possibly one of the most important flower there is because they feed the bees. They're very, very important. There you go, you see, I'd be a bead feeder. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I would actually. The bees would swarm and feed off you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the floral collection, we're nearly limited stock, uh, by the way, proved to be very very popular. Uh, right, Leone. Um, that floral collection, I will just, I mean, that is beautiful. Thing is as well with, I mean, look at the space. 
How gorgeous is that? I absolutely adore this. Um, yeah, it's a cracker one. And you know we have the, um, oh, the thingy, what's it? The, oh, I don't know where I've put mine. Yes, the sticker planning guide. Thank you, our lovely Lotta. The sticker planning guide, that's what works with this. So I can trust assure you. So in your sticker planning guide, you'll have your different planners, your different guides, sorry, for your different layouts. So with this one, you would have the, there you go. So you've got your vertical. That will just sit on your page like so. I really like these. How can you not have these? Are lots. Hey, I tell you what, they're absolutely cracking because they really... Have I put the wrong one on? Oh, I've put it on the month. <laughs> month at a glance. Hold on. Shall I do this or should I stick to it back on white? I'm, I'm going off on a tangent. I'm going off on a tangent. So let me just show you. Sorry, I'm building up a, a wall of planner. Planner stack. It's my planner stack. Nothing better than a planner stack, quite frankly apart from a stack of brownies. So, <laughs> um, I'll tell you what, I am, this hour is mainly fueled by brownies. Brownies and crisps, true story. So, pop this in. Honestly, this is fabulous. You do have both sides. I'm only gonna work on one just for time, but you do have both sides on it. Then take your stickers, and I'll use the floral stickers, because that's the one that comes with this bundle. And these are so beautiful. Thing is that, what are we thinking? I mean, these will work so well in your black and white collection as well, because that pop of color is just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So if I take these, then you see what you can start doing. Okay, so if I want to take um, one of my, my nice big stickers, oh, in fact, I want to do that one first because I really like these long stickers. So let's have one of my long stickers. That one can come down the side like so. And this is why I love these because it allows you to start planning everything. And before you commit it to your page, you can see how it looks. So it really does let you um, design your page. And honestly, highly recommend these. Highly recommend them. So going through now all my different stickers, I always, always have a really good look at your stickers before you actually commit. And then have a little bit of a think and then start building up. And look at these big, beautiful stickers. These are fabulous. And that, that, oh, darling, darling, you're different. Oh, I love that sticker. Darling, you're different. Oh, is that not the best sticker ever? <laughs> darling. Um, so, oh, that's my favorite. So that is going Look at that. Beautiful. Now, I'm having it going slightly to the left rather than at the end because doesn't it look good before you've even done anything? Um, and then let's build up on that one. So taking some of my other beautiful stickers now. I do like on this, I love those open spaces. So you've got your beautiful little old boxes here. So that one I'm going to fit in here like so. And then I'm going to have another little one at the bottom as well. So I've got one at the top, one at the bottom, like this. I remember all this is on that wonderful, um, the wonderful guide. So it means if I fall out with something, I can put it back in the, the packet, uh, back on the actual sheet. And then let's take some of these flowers. These are amazing. See, I like these, but I'm very tempted in this one to use these big bright ones as well because I think they look quite fabulous. Oh, I don't, oh, decisions, decisions. No, go for these. I haven't got long. So let's take these like this. So just popping these on. Mm, decisions. Yeah, okay, I do like that. There. I'm just building up now some little florals. Like this. Oh, yes, you could. Like that one. Uh oh, been a bit keen then. <laughs> Darling, you're different. Um, and then, oh, do I want this coming off? No. I've taken the sheet 
off there so it means I can stick these back in simple and I like that do you know what you see now this is the thing I've fallen out with it but the beautiful thing is look I can peel this back off again so if you fall out with it it's not a big deal that for me is essential because I do I, I am terrible at falling out with my layouts. I do it all the time. And that's why I really highly suggest taking off that back sheet on your labels. Um, and it does depend what kind. You might need space. It does absolutely depend on your week. You know, you might want to decorate everything. It might be one of those, especially recently with lockdown, you know, maybe nothing's going on. So you just want to decorate it with loads of beautifulness. Right, we've only got 10 minutes, so come on, kid. I like them. I really, really like these. I think these are quite fabulous. And I love the fact you can see under them. I think that looks really cool. And I do now like these are done there i like the leaves as well i think the leaves are fabulous so just bring in the leaves on as well so that one can come here like this and then that one can come down here like so now that i love and i'm gonna bring in i much prefer that and this is the thing i'm working on this fantastic guide so it allows me to do this which is ace right okay so i'm gonna stop faffing one more one more <laughs> i am gonna stop faffing uh there pop that there okay happy with this right so what i want to do now is transfer this to my page so I'm going to take this here, like that, and you can, if you're really careful, you can try and lift them all off as one. Well. I'm not going to do, I'm going to lift that one off independently. So this one is going to go on here, like so, and it just lets you plan it all out. There we go. And then I'm going to lift this one up. So I'm just seeing where it's layered. I want this one first. So I'm going to, and it goes into that corner. So I know where I'm going. First time in my life. Okay. So taking this, and I'm just peeling that off there like so. So remember, this went in that corner. Like so. Oh, Janice is making phone calls on a mini phone. <laughs> Don't, I'll get in trouble. <laughs> I tell you. Eh, you're not meant to have your phone in the studio. No, I'm not supposed to have my phone in the studio. It's the only way I can communicate with the lovely people in, in the gallery. I've got to go. Live with Leonie, all right. <laughs> uh, your mini phone in the... Why have you got a mini phone, Janice? Well, after that, I actually... Ask that myself sometimes. <laughs> it's 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 my way of communicating with my inner self. <laughs> my uh, mini self. My mini self. <laughs> and I need to give myself encouragement. I get my little mini phone out and have a little chat with myself. <laughs> is it just a, is it just like a little toy? Does it has it any practical purpose? Uh, yeah, you can actually plug this into your speakers and you can listen. It's like a the, Honestly. It's, not, it's not like a blue Yeah, look look, there's my little thing that you can yeah, yeah, so you can go, hello. And have yeah. your speakers. Yeah, That's yeah. quite cool. Yeah. Anyway, um, <laughs> sorry, sorry. You, you go back to Leonie. <laughs> well, Janice. I'm not saying anything. <laughs> okay, so I'm sticking that down. Oh, I've put it at an angle now. We're talking about the phone. Oh, that's because I weren't watching. I'll blame Janice. It isn't. It isn't Janice. It's me. Look. And this. I'm just going to move this because that all my planning there, I've actually done a little bit wobbly. But because, at least you can pull the sticker off again. Yes, you can. If you're careful. Again. Yes, if you're if careful. If you're careful. And then there. Oh, I adore that. Darling, you are different. There. See how 
beautiful is that? Uh, make sure you get your guide. Make sure if you love this planner, then um, obviously check that out. But absolutely get your guide because it will fit with your floral collection beautifully. And I love that floral collection. Absolutely gorgeous. Let me just take that guide out again. Oh, and it makes such a good And these guides sound. are available uh, separately. And they're they at the are. bottom of your screen, uh, ten pounds and ninety nine pence. So you've got those there for you. They are so so handy. Definitely worth the investment. And only ten ninety nine. That's a great price, the owner. It is. Mm. It is. And you'll use them again and again and again. Yeah. They're yeah, really, really, really good. You keep it. And the lovely thing is you keep it in the actual journal. So whichever journal planner you've got, you can keep it in it, yes. which is yeah. well under. Um, in that black and white collection, just quickly, just to reiterate what you're going to get. You're going to get those beautiful stickers. You're going to get your budget planner. I love the budget planner. It's a month by month budget planner. You can. You can also, with this one, you can also still put your stickers in there. You can still decorate it you've got loads of room as well planner for your budget uh, believe in yourself and this is the one where oh i'm so happy with that page um i'm really jumped with that and this is the one where you've got all those really good positive prompts which is fabulous and it's great because this will inspire but you've got lots of open space as well so you can create something completely unique with that one and then the proper planner it's an eight 18 month planner. It starts in July um, and it goes straight through to June. So you're not missing anything. And it's a really beautiful planner, is this? Absolutely love this one. Not available individually. If you do want this one, please make sure you check your basket out. Believe in believing. Um, and if I just show you. <clears throat> where I'm going with my layout because you've got your beautiful stickers. Love the black and white stickers. You might be adding colour into this, but I really like these as they are because they just look really uh, bold. You know, it is a sophisticated set, uh, collection, but I just adore the, the black and white palette. I Can just I ask think, a question, Leonie? Sure, uh, When you say add colours to your planners, I'm just thinking the paper that's in there, mm. will it take your alcohol markers, your watercolour no. paints? Right, okay. Right, it's not going to take your alcohol markers yeah. definitely okay. they'll go through it yeah it will take your gel pens yep it's going to take your your pencils absolutely great it's going to take your your wonderful gel pens definitely brilliant um it, it'll take your inks yeah so you're distressed you can stamp in yep. it you can do things like that so it'll take your inks as well yep. if you do watercolor so if yep. you're pushing the ink through your watercolor yep that you will see perfect so it's if you're doing good to your, know isn't it uh, yeah, yeah yeah if you're doing your pencil be be shared, gentle with your shading. You know, don't then use your watercolour through. Mind you, over a stick, you're probably all right. But don't use your watercolour through because that will push it through too much. Okay. Yes. <laughs> um, oh, and I like that. It's kind of highlighted. I do like this black and white. Um, yeah. I version. love this. Just something about I it. I really love it. I think it just looks really, really good. Um, how much time have I got? Three, Three minutes. minutes. Shall I try and do a really quick layout for yeah. three and a half minutes? <gasps> Good luck. I mean, it takes me five minutes just to look at the stickers. Honestly, come on, come on. So some of them are the sizes of the boxes. That's yes, yes, yes. Good. And like that's that. what it's it's been planned so they'll fit, so they'll fit perfectly. But you don't need them to do that. You know, you can. It's quite nice overlapping them. It's yeah. quite nice having them um, doing different things. Um, and when they're I, stuck down, they're stuck down, Leone. Well, you can sort of, sort of peel yeah. them off if you're careful. So it depends, it depends. And it depends if you're really, you know, pushed down. But, I mean, they're very good quality stickers. Um, this is what um, they started out doing. You know, it, they started doing all your wonderful stickers and your your uh, yeah your scrapbooking. Um, I remember me and my big ideas years ago. And, oh, I'm so pleased they still do lovely stickers. And I'm just... 
pushing these. Oh, that punch, that has gone. If you did want the punch, I'm really sorry. Um, that has sold out. Um, if there's anything you want, you need to be checking your baskets out now. But remember, we have got a Happy Planner store for you. Um, so if you want to shop Happy Planner, um, it doesn't have to be just when our live shows are on. So please do have a look anytime you fancy a little bit of Happy Planner in your life. Um, have a look at our website, see what you fancy, because honestly, this is such a nice way, not just to organise, but to decorate, to craft, and to bring a little bit of um, a little bit of planning loveliness into your into your day. I absolutely adore it. And this is our lovely Lottie's last planner show. No, because our lots does leave us. And honestly, our Lottie was banging on about Happy Planners such a long time ago. It took us quite a while to, to pick up on it. But thank you ever so much, Lots. Because Lots is... And um, please watch out for our Lottie with the planners because I know that, um, you know, things like her washi tape, etc., and her stamps work beautifully Aww. for planners. So do watch out for Manama Makes and um, make sure you pop that um, into your planner life as well. Now, you mentioned Lottie about 20 times in 30 seconds and you don't get in trouble Good I mentioned her once in the hour and I get in trouble well what can I say <laughs> oh Leonie thank you so much what a wonderful show thank, thank you, you to the gang and thank you to yourselves for watching thanks Leonie thanks love thanks lots <laughs>
Linda Pink is a fabric designer, a quilter and an author. She works closely with Free Spirit Fabrics to develop multiple fabric collections every year and is best known for her dark sense of humour, a flair for hiding animals within her designs and her bold, unique use of colour and pattern. Join me on Hochanda where I will be bringing you a wide selection of wonderful fabrics at fantastic prices. For the past six years, Hochanda has been your home of crafts, hobbies and arts. We've got some exciting news. We've got a brand new name. From April the 1st, we'll be changing our name to The Craft Store. This will make it easier for you to find us when scrolling through your TV channel guides and searching for us online. Nothing else is changing. We'll be the same Achanda that we've always been. We're, We're just getting a brand new name. Demonstration-led, full of inspiration and variety, with our own dash of personality. Welcome to The Craft Store, your home of everything craft. Yes, indeed. Good evening. I hope you are well. The time has just struck eight o'clock. Your bongs are probably still going on the clock that's halfway up the stairs. Um, and it is time to look at our one-day special. And what a one-day special. You have been waiting for this. Over 60% of the stock has already gone on this one is what we're looking at. I was waiting for a live walk. I, I don't do many of these, you see. Just to prove people I can walk on the telly. So... Uh, that's an it is, one for LinkedIn. Now, uh, what you're looking at here is we are looking over 60%, I don't know how to use that, of the overall stock has already gone. And I'm going to tell you straight now, I was told not to say anything, but you know me. I don't give a hoot. Some days I don't give two hoots, to be honest. Um, we generally don't know if we can get any more. Like, literally, tonight we won't be able to until people start work tomorrow. At about quarter past three, they normally kick in. Um, they're in for nine. They have a lot of meetings about when they're really going to schedule a meeting again. And then three o'clock they start working, four o'clock they finish. But uh, we will find out tomorrow. So if you want it tonight, if you want it tonight, I would definitely get it because who knows if it will be here tomorrow. And I'm not just saying that, I genuinely do not know. Uh, there's two flexible payments on this as well of £44.98. and pence. But you are getting an awful lot. And now I'm not alone. We have the Zuri Queen, the Queen of the Clay, you could call her. And resin as well. I'll put that in as well. The cleaner of the resin. Uh, our Catherine's here. It worked a very long day. Very long day uh, you've don't been in. Tell me about it. Not only that, the clocks went forward. <gasps> And, oh, so the clock's went forward. Then so, you had to travel yeah. down. Was you on 7 o'clock this morning? I, I was here for 6 o'clock this morning. Oh. oh. It's been a good day, though. It's been, it's been a very good <laughs> Joe, we have got a violin we on the have, show, you know, we have to use it. <laughs> um, this is one of these that you think, even I look at Zuri moulds and I go, oh, I, I, I like them, but I don't know what I'd do with them. This I can find so many uses for. This alphabet is out of this world. It really is. I mean, the detail, you wouldn't expect anything less from Zuri. No, that is true. Detail. When it comes to detail, you know you're going to get it. You've got the whole alphabet here. These are beautifully, beautifully detailed as well. And they're not all the same. So what I mean by that is, if you're looking at the detail on that particular letter, which is the W, there is a different letter for the M. It's not, you don't, oh, have, to turn, yeah, you don't have to turn it upside down. There is an actual M as well, so they do look different. ABCD, so you'll ABCD, find yeah. that the detail changes throughout those letters, but they all correspond. And also, right at the top of the stairs there, because we've got that little, little rack there, you can see the monograms with the letters A and B, and you can pick out the detail that matches in the frames there as well, which is beautiful. Just to point out for anyone that is wondering, because it's important to say, the A and the B are separate to the frame, so you can put any of those letters 
into the frames or use the frames on their own or use the letters on their own. It is very true. So these are separate, as you can see, you've yes. got all the way around the outside. So you've got the, uh, the detail that's in there. They are beautiful. So there's your A and B and then you've got the whole rest of the alphabet all the way down there as well. There's something quite regal, something quite royal about these, which is what I really adore. You go in with your, um, your gold gilding flakes oh. or your red and things yeah. like that and just add to them. What I was also thinking in the green room during the early hour as well, which would be absolutely beautiful. You know, if you've had a wedding or you've got a favourite flower, or daisies and buttercups that the kids pick up and you never know what to do with. To do the letters in their name and insert the petals or the flowers into resin would be amazing. Do you know, you've hit the nail on the head there because I didn't get to say it in the earlier hour as well. But well, you wouldn't with you... Janice, to be honest, we'll get a word <laughs> in each way. Just throw a little <laughs> hole into the resin, put it on a key ring, on a key fob, yes. or make charms or letters to go on your albums, onto your journals as well. You've got all those options. They're just the perfect size, I, I think. They really they are. are. They really are. For the sheer fact, they are the nice size for little kids. So things like mementos that you want to give to people, things that you want people want to keep, letters. Letters like this to buy on their own, if you're spelling people's names out, can be quite costly. And they're yeah. all individuals, is what you're looking at with them as well. Key rings, soaps, chocolate. Remember, they're food grade safe. If yeah. you're using them with food, obviously, you have to get a separate one and you're only allowed to use it for food. But soaps, even ice cubes, I was uh, thinking. Yeah, jelly, we talked about earlier on. Of course, different set for your food, so marzipan fondant, chocolate, yeah, mashed banana, Janice was saying, you could do that as well, your jelly, uh, boil sweets if you boil sugar. Yeah. put in there. That's a good the, humbug. <laughs> yeah, these will take up to 240 degrees in heat, oh, so they is. can go in the oven as well. So if you want to put cookie mix in or your oven baked polymer clay, if you're using your crafty bits and pieces. Hot glue. What do you be able to do? You know crayons when you've run out, you know when you snap a crayon and you're a kid? Could you put them all in, melt the crayons yes. down and then it would form the letters so yes. you get... Yep. You could do that as well. Just saying, £44.98 yep. across two flexible payments, make your own crayons. You know you've got your actual candles in the jars oh, yeah. and you get to the end and you've just got a little bit of candle left, melt it down. Use, use the wax oh, from a candle if you've got mat. candles. And if you add the soaps. So, yeah, even if you add like um, essential oils to them as well, you can put them in the, the oil burns. You know where yeah. you put tea lights at the bottom and then you drop them in at the top like a little wax melt? Yeah. Do you know what you could do as well? If you've got a candle and you've got wax, if you pour that into there, because the wax starts to set quite quickly, but if you would, because of the size of them, you'd be able to sort of take the wax out when it's still malleable and form that and stick it onto the candle as well. So you can personalise your candles. And oh, burn right. them. I like this. I like this is an idea enough. And this is only the alphabet. I've got many more things on this counter that we didn't even get to in the first place because we were phenomenally busy. £89.95 pence with a £10 saving. 141655 is your item number for this. Uh, now, up next, this flew out the door. Um, it's very, very limited, I'm hearing. Now, there is a handful left of the lovely lady herself. Look at the... I don't know if you can see the detail uh, on this one. The detail here is stunning. It really, it, really is. It's out of this world. Yeah, she's got the most beautiful face. We did start with demonstrating with her in the earlier show. I, I did that on purpose because I knew how quickly she was going and I wanted to make sure we did get to it. The piece you're holding there is just, just hearty clay. It's still curing, actually. It's one of the casts from earlier. But... I mean, look, isn't she beautiful? Look at that. And you could you could use the folds of a skirt and sort of decoupage into the skirt further, you know, overlay it. Um, I did kind of make a, a parrot tulip earlier on as well, which was just kind of a, a wing it thing, but it worked. It worked. So, you know, you can find other uses. Yeah, curtains you could do out of that. Uh, if you turn her upside down oh, sorry, and love. look at a skirt, a skirt won't fall down, don't worry. There it is. You see, you can see, can't you? Almost petal shapes there. Yeah. So you can cut into it. You can shape it. You could also. Um, I know we've got one on. Uh, we've had one on the previous show. Uh, the mermaid tail. Yes. Yep. You could take the top you, off you, so she yep. looks like she was holding uh, the roses. And if you were clever enough with some of your moulds, or you're just clever with clay anyway, you. I reckon. She's technically sold out. I'm going to tell you oh. my idea anyway because I thought it was quite good. Uh, she's technically holding. You could hold her a newborn baby. You certainly could. Yeah, you could cut away the flowers. Even if you can't cut away 
the whole of the bouquet, you can cut away enough to put something else there that she's holding. So I most like this. definitely. Well, I did like it. Sold out. It, it sort oh, of reminds me of uh, no. Molly Malone as well. You know the song, uh, "Cockles and Muscles, Alive, Alive, Oh." It's sort of that sort of look. You know, when you go on holiday and they have a, a statue. It's yeah. Lined up. Uh, it sort of reminds me. Of that. Anyway, I'm not going to talk about it anymore because it's sold out. Uh, so something else you want to know? Elefanto limited stock. Limited stock for your elephant, sold out last time. We've managed to bring it back. Oh, not that way. Uh, we've managed to bring it. Look at that. Oh, my word. I know. Isn't it amazing? That makes a good door knocker. Very true. Very no, true. Would. That's a great it's... idea. Yeah, it's beautiful. I mean, the detail again in there, it's just extraordinary. So, and it's just crying out for. Whatever colours you want, that bright, gilding, you know, you decide. Just perfect. It's absolutely beautiful, but it's limited stock. You have to choose from nothing. You can choose from Dot. For the sheer fact, it's the only one I've got. 19 bands and 99 pence. 344642 is your item number. Well worth getting hold of this as well. But, uh, oh, we've got some finished sample images. Are these from viewers? These are from the design team. Oh. Um, we haven't got the physical samples in the studio, but you know I've managed to get these from Facebook with their permission. And of course, you can see the one of the frames, the monograms and the alphabets being used there. Just again, simple colouring of your resin or your clay, and then some gilding over the top. You can go further than that. Add jewels into that crown as well, perhaps as well. There's so much you can do. I think this one is one of Sylvia's. She's our UK design team member. Uh, I'm a big fan of La Blanche. I'm a big fan of everybody who comes here, actually. I spend so much money. Yeah, but do. to think about That's your good. photographs, your rice papers, your decoupage papers, you don't have to use the alphabets. No, use true. the frames and look at the elements within the frames because you can break those down as well. This is very Le Blanc. It is very that sort of style in these frames. Yeah. These would also make beautiful knockers. They would also make... No, they would, like, door knockers. Like, you, you would frame... You know when you have a little peephole? You know you have your peephole on your yep. side of the door to... Look at the postman. Yep. A uh, bit like that, it would be absolutely beautiful that you've got there. Uh, they would also make, I oh, look at that for the lady, absolutely stunning. Uh, they would also make nice, oh, you put it around a bottle earlier. That could turn, um, and I told you the make of the champagne, it reminded me yes. of. It was absolutely beautiful. You could turn an inexpensive bottle of champagne or a bottle of fizz per second into something quite extraordinary. Yeah. Yep. Definitely, most definitely. But what you're going to need, though, if you want to turn it all into extraordinary, you're going to need something to put into it. Uh, now, you've either got resin you can put into it. You may have some resin. We've got some resin on the show, I think, as well. Um, but you've also got your hearty clay. Now, this stuff is amazing. A little goes an awful long way uh, with this one. Uh, what you're going to get uh, with this is you, you can chew. Do you get all of it? Giveaway. It's all in the prep, Adam. You really should read your notes. But what you're getting is you're getting everything that you currently see here. I'm just adding to it as well. Because what you're getting is you're getting your white, which you all need anyway. Then you get your colours. So you get your black, you get magnolia, you get your yellow, and you get your blue. OK, so you're getting all the colours that you need. Then you get this contraption. This is your mixing scan. Now, I only miss from watching Catherine in earlier shows. This is your lifesaver. This will give you every colour that you need to create from using your hearty clay. There is no more guesswork in this anymore. How much blue and red do you add to make green? It will do it all for you. You want a colour tone? Your colour tone is in the instructions. Um, Camden, this is a decent little bundle. It's a nice little bundle as well for £32.99. It's an amazing bundle and you are going to go through that. Now, of course, the colours in there are, are ideal. You've got the yellow, you've got the blue, you've got the magenta, which is... There is a red available separately, I think, but magenta is a great colour because you can work with it like a red. So your blue and your magenta will make your purples, your yellow and your blue will make your greens. Black, you can never mix a true black if you're trying to work with the white oh. clay and put colour into it. But, of course, these will mix into the white. You can use all the different mediums on there. The true black... For me, it's one of the most important colours if you're going for a colour, so it really is a good bundle. We'll have a little look at the chart as well and the mixing tray because it is very, very useful. But you're going to use these, and if you've never used Zuri moulds before and you don't know where to start, I would suggest go for the clay. Go for the air-dry clay. It's very easy to work with. It's lightweight. You can put it on your cards, your home decor pieces. You've got all sorts of uses for it, and it's professional-grade clay as well. I, I think there's charts on the other side. Yeah, that's it, both sides. I mean, the example I normally give, um, Adam, is I would never know how to mix a proper teal. 
because well, it's a bluey pro. green, and I just keep putting green, you know, green or yellow and blue together. How much yellow? How much blue? You know, well, how do I mix it? You can't get the ratios right. Well, with this, you can. And if you want to multiply the amount, then you can do that as well. I love it, it teaches you a lot as you as you work with this chart. Well, it does, and I was just looking. I read it somewhere. I don't know where I read it now. Um, it, in theory, you, it's got these are all the colourways that you need. It's got the hearty white, the yellow, magnolia, the blue, and the black, and that will make every colour on that page. It said that I, I absolutely, I, um, I absolutely love it. I really do love it. Uh, and as I said, if you're just starting off in the world of all this, it is hard to work out what colours you are going to need. Uh, so it's well worth getting hold of. £32.99. If you're going for your one-day special, you can split that cost as well. Under two interest-free, flexible payments. This one, though, is dispatched from the 1st of April, along with all the other clay. It's Thursday, and it's Thursday when we change the name. Big rebranding. Oh, can't wait. It's like Snickers moving to Marathon. Remember that day? <laughs> oh, what a day. No kickoffs there, was there? People loved it. We're going to love it as well. Thursday, 7 o'clock. Uh, right then, where are we up to now? Demos? Let's go to demos, shall we? I'm bored of talking. Right, <laughs> Catherine, let's come to you what you want to. OK, just very quickly, we'll just touch on this chart again then, because I haven't got the, the mixing tray with me at the moment. I, I've, I, it's somewhere. But uh, we'll see if we can grab the one that we've got in the studio. Just to go through it again, I mean, we talk about green. We know that yellow and blue make green. But what shade of green? I mean, it's endless, the amount of shades that you can make. So it is very simple. Let me just find this. You also get a little scoop as well. So you've got your, your little tray here. Now you've got A, which is the smallest point, B, C, D, right up to I, which is your larger little, uh, little dome there. Then you do get your tool. You can use it or not. You know, I've managed without, but it's very handy, actually, and essential to keep the chart because, obviously, that's going to teach you how to mix the different colours. Would you say laminate the chart? You could. I would. Actually, that's a really good idea, yeah, because it will... Well, look, I'm mine. Oh, so I've, gone. I did splodge it. We'll swap yeah, that. So... We'll swap that later. You can go on the studio. <laughs> it would have been a good idea. No one would know. <laughs> So, let's have a look. I did mention teal, didn't I? Because it is a hard one to mix. And you can see there is yellow and there is blue in there, but you've also got the white. But how much would you put of each? Now, I know, I know obviously these are small amounts, but once you've worked out the ratio, you can kind of take that further and you can also sort of take that colour and make your lighter shades by adding more white. Mm. You could put a little bit of black in there to knock that back as well. So, all you need to do, if we're looking at this one here, the one where I've got the splodge, I can see in B... I've got yellow, which comes in the kit, of course, if you're going for the big clay kit, which this mixing chart comes with. So B is just here. I'm going to show you some more mix in a little while that doesn't use this as well. So all you do is just press the clay in there. You want to make sure it's nice and flat. To get it accurate, don't have it domed up. Have that nice and flat. The doming is the shape of the tray itself. Okay. Then we've got F, which is the blue. So where did I put my blue? But that's not, I can't use that one because it's got white in it. Oh, where's it gone? There it is. Right, so F is this one here. Now, it is printed on there or it is marked into the plastic. I, you can see it on there, can't you? How the lights are catch, it's making it a little difficult for me to see. So what you could do is just write those with a permanent pen as well if you want to make it a little bit That's clearer. A nice blue, though. It is a nice blue. And then we can see we've got, which one was doing this one? I. Do you know what? Now I've got my splodge on there. I don't know if that is an E or an F. Let me just get my the glasses. One? It's an E, so I've put that in the wrong one. Let's just go. It's all right. I can see it. I can see it. B E I. B E I. That's what we're going with. So I've just switched that one over. So that's the blue. Then we go with the I. And again, obviously, you've got more white than anything else. Keep it nice and flat. That's why the scoop's there. It's handy. Oh, you just to press to, that down. Um, straighten off the top. To straighten off the top if you need to do it, yeah. So you can sort of scrape away and flatten that out. But, do you know, I do find it quite easy with my thumb just to do that. But what I do find the scoop very, very useful for is for taking this out. Because those little bits, you just can pick out. Because you don't need to keep that shape. And that is your mix. Now, obviously, that's not going to make a great deal of clay, but it's showing you the ratios. So you can just continue to use those ratios. I suppose you just make it again if you want more. You know it's all going to be yeah. exactly the same yeah. colour every single exactly. time. So now I'm mixing it together. I mean, this the overpowering colour in here is actually the blue because the smallest amount was the yellow. But can you see how much more greeny that's gone just with that little bit of yellow in there? 
and it doesn't take much to mix it and if I just roll that into a bowl and I pop that this is why that splodges there I think look look at that that's the colour you've got I like that. And if you love the colours, once you've got that and you think, do you know, that's such a pretty colour, but I want it lighter. Maybe you just want to keep that shade, but you want to make it a lighter, a lighter shade, then you can start to add more of the white. But you're keeping, it's in the same colour family, obviously, because you've already mixed it, but you can then start to blend. So if you want to do and like a peacock's tail and you wanted to do like dark to light. Yeah, that is, that is very much... Exactly, that's a really good point. And I use this when I'm making flowers a lot. In fact, we, we might touch on flowers if we've got time tonight. We'll see. If not, it'll be tomorrow. No. But look, isn't that a pretty colour? Look at that. It's very much like peacock feathers, isn't it? The ink colour. It's just so handy. It is so it's handy. so handy. <laughs> it is so, they were telling me to move out of shop. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I heard a funny noise in the studio. Did you hear that banging noise again? Then? I did. There was we, a back. We think we've got a spirit in the studio. There's, there's something that moves stuff on this counter, and none of us have touched <laughs> the counter. I've literally just heard the noise again. But there's nothing on here that has moved. A little bit freaky. Ooh. Right. Do you know what I haven't done tonight as well? I haven't said hello to Sophie and Mike. Sophie and Mike, Copy and off. of course, the owners of Zuri. Um, if you're watching, Oh, lovely to be here again, representing Zuri, such a wonderful company, amazing, amazing products. If you're not watching, I'm sure you'll get this on Rewind, so it still counts. Because in <laughs> their theory, they're a little company, aren't they? They're not a big old company that we think they are. Do you know, the birthday, is, the birthday of Zuri, he, Zuri here at Achanda is in April. There will be a special event for the birthday. It may oh. not happen exactly a year after they were here because yeah. they're getting stocks in, but there's some very, very nice things ahead I've seen. And I think there's a little gift coming for birthdays. Well, well keep your eyes peeled for a little Zuri show. Well, then what are we up to? What are we making? OK, right. We are going to use one of the frames. Oh, I love these frames. And I'm sticking with the clay. Uh, we are definitely going to do resin because I did promise it earlier on. But I thought while we've got the clay out, and I get too messy with paint and things like that or resin, I'm going to stick with the bundle of clay as well and use the moulds as well and then we're going to move on to the polymer because the air dry polymer which is great so i've got some magenta i've got um do you know i've already got a bit of white in that but it doesn't matter let's go stick with some of that blue it's already been lightened down a little goes a very long way you've just seen that let's go for a little bit more of the yellow as well now this is something i've done before but i'm going to do it again let's take a bit of that blue away Let's go with some of the white. Doesn't matter, you know, how much I go with at this point. I'm not going to mix masses. These are going to be quite strong colours because, obviously, as I said, a little goes a long way. So the magenta. Oh, here we go. Look, look. at that. This okay, so nice. I'm not using the colour chart for this. I don't need to. I'm going to do a blend, and I have done this before with air dry clay. It's something I do a lot with polymer clay but you can do it with air dry as well, and it gives you such a lovely effect. Now, there's still a little bit of marbling in there, but I'm not worried about that, as long as I've mixed the majority of it. If you want your hearty clay, you can get three 50 grams on a pick and mix for £13.99. All dispatched from the 1st of April, I'm going for. 1st of April. OK, so there's our blue mix, and now we're going to go with the yellow, and, of course, yellow and blue make green. Blue and red, or in this case magenta, make purple. And uh, do you know what? Let's go. Let's go all the way. Let's go with some extra white as oh. well. So we've got four balls of clay going in there. I'm not going to put the black in because it will overpower what I'm doing now. It doesn't matter that I've not mixed them fully. You can do that at home if you want to, but honestly, it doesn't really matter. Okay, I'm just going to prep the mould first of all with a little bit of corn flour. So if you're new to the air dry clay, you don't want it too wet. When you take it from the pack, and I didn't say this at the beginning, I did on the earlier show at the launch, and I'll just quickly go through it again. When you take the clay from the pack, condition it. And by conditioning it, all I mean is give it a good old stretch. Okay. You know, there's moisture in there, there's water content. You can see, I always like to show how it looks when you take it from the pack. It looks a bit fluffy. Can you see? Yeah, a little like bit a fibrous. Pot. And when I break it apart, it will just pull apart. So once you start working that, and it is so soft, you start to see it smoothing out. You can see it's getting more stretchy. So instead of just breaking apart, it's now stretching more. And the more I work that, the more 
that is going to smooth out and stretch. Now, because I'm doing that, it's making it a little bit too malleable to go straight into the mould without it stretching when I try and release it. Okay. But it's important to condition it first because if you don't and you go straight into your mould and it's got that fluffy texture, it will pick up that sort of texture in your mould as well. Oh. You'll see it. It's, you know, it doesn't work. But anyway, it does work, but not in the same way. It's not so good. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go with each of these balls of clay. I'm going to make them more like carrot shapes or pears. Okay? It doesn't have to be, you don't have to have the same amount of each one. Let's just make them all into sort of those shapes first. Uh, did you hear Jimmy's idea then? No, what was that? The moulds that we're using now look like that famous wizard's. Uh, yes, they do, don't they? Yes. They could be yep. little houses. If you know the famous wizard I'm talking about, Harry Potter, yep. um, <laughs> it looks like uh, other wizards are available, Wayne Dobson and <laughs> um, David Copperfield. But it does look like your... Um... Oh, look at that, it's amazing, though. I love the details of these. Right, here we go. OK, right, so... What I've done, I've kind of topped and tailed those, so where the wider bit is there next to it is a pointy bit. It's just so I haven't got straight lines, so there's no magic about this, it's just straightforward. Now it does take a little bit of time, so I'm going to start this off and show you the process, and maybe then you can do a recap while I carry on with this to really blend it. Don't worry if you've got more of one colour than the other, but what you need to do, you will need a rolling pin, you start to roll out, and when you're flattened, you fold it in half and then you roll again. Like phyllo pastry. <laughs> yeah, very much like that. And you will keep doing that and you will start to see a blend. Now, I have thought a little bit which way around I've put the colours. I've put the yellow next to the blue, so I know I'm going to start to see a green come through. I've got the blue next to the pink, so I'm going to start to see a purple. And then where the pink meets the white, we'll get the lighter shade coming through. So you just keep doing that and don't be afraid to press hard with the rolling pin. The harder you press the more you're going to sort of flatten that down and start to blend it. Okay, so I'm going to keep working at that because it does take a bit of work, I'm not going to lie. But can so you see that green oh, yeah, starting that. to come through there? And then you've got that lighter pink as yeah. well in the white The purple's now. coming through here, the green's coming through there, and this is starting to fade as well. Uh, but before we get into this, before I get into this maybe and tell you the details, I want to show you this picture. Um, I can see it on my previous screen. Oh, look at this! This is using oh, wow. previous Zuri moulds. This oh, is from wow. our Brian. I love that. Look how beautiful that is. That, you know, that is right up my street as well because I'm so big on my upcycling. Honestly, if you've got a vase or a pot or something at home that doesn't fit in with your decor, it could be any colour, you can use paint to paint over it. Just use the moulds to apply directly to the ceramics and then use your paints and your gilding waxes or your metallic paints just to do that. There is a bottle in the background the there as the well, yeah, that's got the castle on. That We've got is, the castle yeah, as well. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, oh Bri Brian, if you've not joined my Bleak into New Unique group, you need to be on there posting these pictures on so you can share them with us. Yes, do it. He has got a willow tree. I think that's the granddad willow tree in the background that is, as well. That is beautiful. I absolutely love it. And he's built little lanterns out of paper in the back. Look, it's very good. I like that. No, I like that little willow tree. I've got that little willow tree in my own home. Um, beautiful. Uh, it is. I love it. Absolutely love it. Uh, well done, Brian. Well, well done. That's all I can say. It's Amazing. absolutely beautiful. And the one in the back as well, that other lamp that you're going to make, stunning. Uh, now, you may want to personalise them now, though. You can now start personalising and putting names on them with your one-day special, £89.95, or you can split the cost under two interest-free flexible payments. You are getting the two of the beautiful frames. These are absolutely stunning. And then you are getting every single letter all the letters of the alphabet, and they're all slightly different as well, because obviously they're letters, but they're all slightly different in their design that you're going to get. Obviously, the best letter is A, because um, it stands for Adam <laughs> and amazing. But you've got the rest of the characters in there as well across the formats, and your A and B are separate, OK? So you haven't got to do the frame every time you do the A and B. You just can do the A and B if you so wish. 141655 is your item number uh, for this one. Let's look at your ornate elephant on the show. Very limited stock for your ornate element. Uh, we're just saying now, we don't think it'll be here in the morning. We generally do not think it will be here in the morning. So if you like your elephant, I'd get it while you can. Look at the detail that you are getting on that. Absolutely stunning. 
It really, really is. 19 pounds, 99 pence, 344642 is your item number. Ornate gates are up next. These remind me of the gates of Sandringham. You know where the Queen drives through when she goes yes, at Christmas? Yeah. The big ones at the bottom, just yep. past the pay park. Uh, that, that's what it reminds <laughs> me of. It is absolutely... The pay park opens again next Friday. Uh, it's absolutely beautiful. It really, really is. And obviously, if you're clever enough, uh, like this sample here, you can open the gates as well to look into a fantasy of Zuri worlds. Uh, it is beautiful. Look at that. £19.99, 098616 is your item number uh, for the gates that you've got there. I absolutely... Look, th simple things like that. Look how nice that is. It is lovely. The other sample that you just put to one side, you've probably not realised, Adam, but that is also using the gates. That is why but they're not gates I put it to one side because I couldn't you didn't see the see gates. It, did you? <laughs> yeah. So that using always look at ways of breaking down the moles. <laughs> So you would never think that was a gate. <laughs> well, I didn't, because that's why I put it to one side. <laughs> and I thought, oh, Janice has messed up all my samples here. I'm going to have to have a look when we go back to Catherine in a minute and see where it works. That was the gate as well. £19.99. Now you've worked out my hints and techniques. Uh, 098616 is your item number. Uh, Majesty Warrior is up next as well. This is the horse. I love the horse. We've seen this in resin, in clear resin. This looks Beautiful. It really, really does. And once again, £19.99, 163002 is your item number. Working our way down. This is nice. I've not seen this one before. This is the Scorpio that we've got. Uh, so you're two in one. So you're getting your ornate frame, once again, that's in there. And you're getting your Scorpion. And you're getting your text, uh, which I also adore. Um, there's something quite um, uh, a haunted manner about this. And I don't think it is meant to be haunting in the slightest. But there's, you get that sort of vibe uh, from it. Ni once again, £19.99 for two moulds you're getting here. It works out to be just try a tenner a mould, is what you're looking at. 472967 is your item number from then. We keep on working down. Uh, to, oh, we're not staying on that. £19.99. Then we've got your violin on the show. <laughs> I like this violin. It's beautiful, isn't it? I like this a lot. Look at this. Oh. Are you, I reckon you could turn that into a cello. You could. Yeah, definitely. If you wanted to. Definitely. <laughs> yeah. It could just be a little broke to her. I think a cello, uh, I think it's just the size and the tone. I think a cello is a lot deeper, I think, I feel. Uh, or you could turn it into an ornate guitar. It's entirely up to you. Or a viola. Oh, you see, there's many things you could turn it into. Uh, or a bass. A bass, yes, yeah. A bit of a bass that you've got there. Doom, 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 doom. <laughs> 19 pounds and 99 pence. Put a little spike at the bottom. Uh, we'll have emails now going, no, Adam, you can't. Uh, 597072 is your item number. Uh, next item is the same item number, but you just choose. You either got Rise Like a Phoenix or you get Lexus, the elven horse uh, that's in there. So you've got the Phoenix or the horse. I absolutely, I absolutely adore them. Look at the detail that you're getting on these as well. 635856 is your item number. You choose which one you go. Rise like a phoenix uh, that's in there. Stunning. They really are. £18.99. I haven't seen anything apart from the one-day special over 20 quid yet. Uh, £18.99 for another Zuri mould. If you're missing it in your collection, you might want to go for it now. 635856 is your item number. Flamingo Bloom is up next. I wonder if you related to Orlando. But uh, £18.99 for your Flamingo Bloom. Uh, 698299 is your item number. There's a lot you can do with this Flamingo as well, especially this centre bit. You could use it on your own, couldn't you? Just uh, If you wanted yeah. that lot of flowers. You yeah, just the flowers on their own, but also what works very nicely with this one, if you do the whole of the flamingo and then you take another cast just of the flowers and then overlay it to give it more oh, of a rounded I body, doing that. that looks really good as well because you can decoupage the clay on, on top of itself. So you could really go 3D if you wanted to with this one. And obviously you could do different colours uh, with the neck and the legs. And we have done that in previous shows as well. £18.99 and, and also looks amazing your resins. And remember they're food grade safe. Yes. So you could use everything I've showed you so far. Obviously don't cross contaminate. Don't put your clay in on a Monday and then think, oh, I'll bake a cake on Tuesday with the same one. <laughs> don't do that, obviously. Uh, buy two separate ones. Or if you're just a cake maker, just use them for your cakes. But you can use them. They are food grade safe. So you can do your fondant nighting. You can make chocolates out of them. You can do soaps with them. There's so many things you can do with them when you get them home. Don't just think them for hearty clay and don't just think of them for resin. The world is really open when we come to Zuri moulds, uh, unlike some other moulds that are out there. These are absolutely phenomenal. Uh, the next one that we're looking at is your... I like this medieval one. There's something about this that I quite enjoy. 
There is, yeah, like a little kid's birthday cake. I, if it was me, I, if you're going for this, I'd also go for the wrought iron gates. Yeah. Definitely. And if you're going for the clay bundle, you've got your white clay, you've got your black clay, you can make all those different shades of grey, so for rocks like that, that's one of Sylvia's uh, samples there. I mean, we're talking about cakes. Imagine cupcakes with those little rocks on yeah. top of the sword in each, if you've got a theme. Or look at the, the beautiful headdress there as well. If you turn that on its side and maybe put two together, you've got an ornate flourish again. How it beautiful. doesn't have to be a helmet with a, with a feather coming out of it, you know, the ornate feathers. It can be whatever you want it to be. That's nice as well. You imagine doing it taking this now and putting it with the frames that you've already got. So you take the frame from the one day special with the crown yeah. on the top and you're sort of adding yeah. these on as well with the swords that you've got on there. It's kind of Game of Thrones-esque that you've yeah. got going on. Dungeons and Dragons that you've got. Just medieval. It reminds me sort of Warwick Castle uh, that you've got uh, going on. I absolutely adore it. Once again, all of that for 1999, 777-812 is your item number. Right then, let's go back to the game. So you saw the clay before we went there. There was four colours, white, blue, magenta and yellow is yeah. what we have. And all Catherine's doing, why I've been tootling down here, is just been rolling. Look at the clay now. And I did stop quite a while ago because I didn't want anything to fall off the counter with me shaking it. But if I kept going with this, that would continue to blend even further. So you can you can see, look, yellow into green where it's mixed with. There was no green one today. That. It was the yellow into the blue. There's your purple. There was the white on the end. Now, what I'm going to do, because I've left that, I've just let it stand. It's quite drying in the studio at the moment. Uh, but what I'm going to do now is take the clay and put it into the frame. Now, I have got the letter B there, which I don't have to do, but we'll see because I'm going to cover the whole thing. Now, this is the other side that when you fold, make sure you always fold. Don't kind of keep flipping the clay over. Fold it one way. So you can see where I've just sort of squashed some of the clay into the back of it. That doesn't matter. This is the face of it. Now I'm looking at the size of the mould here and I'm thinking what colours do I want to see more of? I'll probably lose a little bit of the lighter pink but that's fine. Let's go with, let's go there. So what I'm going to do now is just put that sheet straight over the top and normally when you see me put clay into the moulds I can go in with lots of little lumps, I can push it around, you know you don't have to go in one piece. I don't normally roll it out into one sheet like this but you can do but if you're doing the blend then that is quite important because you don't want to mix up those colours now. So I'm folding it in on itself, but where I've got those little bits of detail there, I'm starting just to sort of stretch that out. Now, if you do find that you haven't got enough clay to fill this mould, don't worry, we will cover that. All you've got to make sure is that you get this into the detailed area. So I can now start to break away a little bit because I can see, look, let's just turn this in so in theory this could also be fondant this you can do exactly the same thing with your fondant yeah oh, and don't forget you can still add your your powders over the top or your waxes or your paint effects this is just the basis and i mean it looks quite pretty at the back there as it is but wait until it comes out because you will see a big big difference so what i've done there i've taken that clay now obviously this bit here will reveal the letter B underneath. Now, I could have just continued to press that clay into there and done the B at the same time. But actually, what I'm going to do, just to make it easier for speed, I'm going to reveal the centre part because the raised area won't be a piece that is cast, OK? These are two separate moulds, really. The B is separate to the frame. So now I've got that in place, I can take my rolling pin over the top, and I know exactly what's going to happen, but I'm going to do it just to show everybody. If I go over the top, I can see it's not even touching that. You can see it's got lots of bumps and crevices. It's not touching it, so I need to top that up. Now I can go with the spare clay, and as long as I've covered the detail, I can now go over the top with anything, because this is going to be stuck to something. So let's just fill in those gaps. Okay, so now it will start to look a bit messy. So we'll just keep filling this in. Okay. And just check it. Keep checking it with your rolling pin. So, you know, you can really press down on these. Start to pull in from the edge as well. What I did show you a trick earlier on, which I'll come back to as well in a second, just to make sure you've got all that detail. I'm just picking up any clay that I've got spare now that's lying around. Do make sure with your air dry clay that you do pack it away into your packets and you keep it sealed when you're not using it. Don't do what I do in the shows and leave it out. I do that on purpose to make sure it's workable for the shows. I'm just going to continue 
just to keep pressing that down. I'm trying to do this as quickly as I can because I want to get to the resin, but I don't want to lose any of that detail. So just go with that bit. Do you know, I could still keep working this. And it is important, I say this all the time, do compact down well. But for the speed, I'm going to make this do in a second. Again, you can go with a rolling pin. Another little trick that you can do is turn that the other way and press down with the heel of a hand on the top or with your rolling pin that way because there is a little bit of give in that oh, mould. Okay. okay. But what we'll do, we'll make that do. I would continue working that a little bit more normally. But you can see, when I start to flex this mould, because this clay is a lot drier, look how this is coming out. Okay, now there was corn flour in the mould, but... Although you can see a little bit of dust in the corn flour. Oh Let's just take that little bit off there. Look at, isn't that lovely? Isn't that, let me turn it that way. Now you imagine, you imagine then bringing out that detail with some wax. Or put, yeah, put a mirror behind there. Oh, you know, turn yes. that into an ornate mirror. If I just flip that up the other, other way as well, you can have the frame that way oh. as well. It works both ways. You do that with a little wooden handle, a little mirror plate on the inside. Yeah. You've got a little hand mirror for yeah. a child or even for yourself. It's just, I love doing the blends. You know, you get a different result every single time, but you don't lose any of the detail. And that blend, and you can go completely with very pastel colours, very dark colours. You know, it's entirely up to you, but it just, it works beautifully. Why are Catherine sets up for the resins? I love that. Did you like that idea? So imagine doing that as a shield. And that's going to be a trophy for someone, for an, an event that's coming up. Or, you know, it's, it's so beautiful to do. Uh, we're now two thirds of the stock of your one day special now has already gone. It is absolutely beautiful. It really, really is. These are the shields uh, that we've just seen just here. They are stunning. They are large as well. So, so you can see the size of what you're getting here. They are really, really big. The TV does not do these justice. I'm going to tell you that now. I, first thing I did, walked into the studio, oh, they look bigger in real life than they do on the TV. They are massive. They really, really are. Uh, it's £44.98 pence across two flexible elements, and you're getting a full alphabet as well. 141655 is your item number for your one-day special. You might want some resin, though. We've got some resin on the show. Now, we've got two sizes of the resin. Let me show you some pictures. I've got 500 grams of resin that you want here. So maybe you want to get a little bit of 500. This is what it looks like. Uh, so it's little bottles and your stirry stick as well. So you've also got your measure in there. Uh, we'll bring up some of the details for you. Here you go. Look, £27.60, 851436 is your item number. If you know you're going to do a big project or you think, actually, I want a lot. I want a lot of resin. I like my resins. Uh, I can do you a kilogram of resin. A kilogram of resin and a kilogram of hardener that's in there for £78.96. And you also get the stirrer as well. Um, well worth it. Uh, two seven. No, it's not. So where's the seven come from? Two nine zero four eight eight is your. <laughs> There's no seven on that page. Uh, two nine zero four eight eight is your item number for your kilogram of resin. If you do a lot of pours, it's go for the bigger one. Do you know what's the contacted me and said the first time they bought the resin they went and I would have done the same thing go for the smaller ones give it a go and then they've come back for the big ones big one. because you get hooked and seriously get hooked just a little bit about the resin actually before we move on it isn't just for pouring into moulds we see Alichem come here there's different types of resin you can use it for your artwork as well. You can brush it onto your artwork so you can give that sort of glaze, oh. that protection. But it works perfectly for the moulds because it stays malleable a little bit longer, which means you can shape it, which, and I did show earlier, and I'm going to bring them back in, the frames. You can take the resin out of the moulds at a certain stage where it's still very malleable. You won't lose the detail, but you can shape it around your vases, your... It bottles that sort of thing right now the one I've got here is one that I used earlier so there's still some remnants of resin that have cured on there so you can see it looks a bit of a mess do clean your molds in between in between uh, working with them just soapy water but the resin will just pick off it's it's silicon so it's going to come away from there so just flexing the mold will start to bring that away as okay. well you see okay so come back to that you don't need to prime that with anything you can leave it exactly as it is I haven't got my scales because the battery ran out last time I did Zuri and um, I forgot to get a new battery 
And they're not the, the little round ones, so they're not ones I can pick up easy. So what I'm doing, I'm just marking. There are, you can hardly see it, on my little silicon jug, there are some little markers, but you can't really make them out. So I've just marked with a pen so that you can see what I'm doing. Okay. Because this resin is one part of the resin, one part of the hardener. Okay. So it's easy to mix it. You don't have to worry. If you haven't got scales to weigh it in weight, measure it. Okay. Now, I'm using a silicon cup because... I've got quite a few of these. They're totally reusable. When the resin is set or the remnants are set in Either there, you way. just flex the cup and it comes out and you reuse it. <laughs> I'm going to give my top, top tip here. And I did make a mistake when I was on last time. I was when Jan has spotted it. When you're using these, doesn't matter which way around you use it, put your lids on. Don't take them both off at the same time because you might mix them you up. Know which ones are hard and so which ones are Yeah, this is the resin. And I said to do that, last time and then I went and took the hardener lid off before I put this one back on and then did get them swapped over and the fact is if you don't notice you've done that you will seal your lid to the bottle yes, because the will. hardener yeah the hardener will set it and there must have been a little bit of cross-contamination because when I came to use this when I was prepping for the shows I couldn't get the lid off um, Luckily, it was only a small amount, so what I managed to do was sort of dunk it in some boiling water, which so softened the lid, and I was able to undo it, and it's fine now. So there's another tip for you. Right, so what I've done, I've gone to the mark, and the next mark it will give me the same measurement again. So I'm just going to fill. So it's quite, quite easy to sort of gauge it when you've got measuring cups. Everybody, no. Right, there we are. Okay, and then put your lid on again. I am wearing gloves because resin is very, very sticky. It's non-toxic and there's no aroma to this either. It's really lovely to work with, but it is very, very sticky. So I'm protecting my hands from getting the sticky all over me. Then you stir. You do get a stirrer with um, the ones that you're buying. I didn't get that, so I'm using an old paintbrush, as you can see, which is fine. And I always do this on purpose on TV. I give it a really good mix. And I'm purposely getting lots of bubbles in there because it's nice to show you how you get rid of the bubbles. You will always get bubbles in your resin. There are ways of, sort of stopping it happening too much. One is don't stir quite as fast as I am. And I will normally stir this for two to three minutes. You know, the more you've got, make sure you give it a really good stir. Uh, not timing it, it's, you know, it's just a demonstration purpose. But if you don't want to waste your resin, Is there a consistency you look for? Does it change in it, consistency? It does change. You'll, the, this is a clear resin and it kind of goes a little bit more like a lemonade. Or I okay. know Scott, who oh, comes from Elichem, describes it as like a sparkling wine. Because you can see the bubbles and then you want to keep mixing it. You will see the consistency change a little bit and you will see the colour change a little bit. Now, to get another way of getting rid of the bubbles, there's a few things you can do, actually, and I can show you one or two, uh, although I'm going to put some colour in this one. You could stand your jug in a little bit of warm water. Don't have it boiling hot. Okay. That will help the bubbles rise. You can get rid of them when they're in the mould with a heat gun, which I'm going to do. And you can heat these moulds because we know they go up to 240 Very degrees true. in an oven. The wow heat gun that I use at the very, very maximum is 230. That's if I've got it on full blast and it's been going a while. So I know it's not going to do anything. But if you want to add colour, and this to me is very important, we've got the resin, and these come in various different colours. I don't know if it's a pick and mix, I think it might we'll be. Have a little look. It okay. is a little pick and mix of any two right, you can okay. choose from. There's loads of colours to choose there from. There is loads of colours. Now, it depends what you think you're going to be doing. I would say, for me, my first picks would always be black and white because I like my bases to be black or white to build colour onto them. The thing about putting the colour in your resin, and you'll see how powerful these are in a minute, the thing about doing that is you've got that most perfect cast with every bit of fine detail without having to use a gesso or a paint to change the colour because anything you're adding on afterwards is going to start filling that detail so you're not going so to lose anything. Into the actual yeah. Yeah, makes yeah. Sense. So let's just, just be careful what I do with this, I'm just going to sit this, I can sit it onto another mould actually because I know it's going to peel away. Now I'm using the black in this case just to show you how powerful this is. Now this is a, a resin based product and I've got a cocktail stick here and I'm just dipping the end in. Okay. I believe the marking I've got oh, in this jug is 80 millilitres. Look 
how dark that has gone. You had a cocktail sticks worth. A cocktail, and I could have got away with less than that as well. There's still some on there that wants stirring in. It seriously is going to last such a long time. But I can get a pure, beautiful cast from this and then just go on top with my gilding or my metallic paints without having to worry about going with gesso on the top. If you want that base, so black and white, very, very important to me that I have those. Of course, you can make grey with those as well. But if you're looking at other options for colours, look at the moulds you've got and think about the moulds. For instance, we haven't... I know it's gone now, but the, the beautiful bouquet lady. If I was mixing a colour to pour that I needed a skin tone, I would always mix the skin tone and then paint the other uh, colours. The skin tone is the hardest one to mix. So, you know, that's, that's what I would do. I would mix the, the flesh tone or whatever colour skin tone that you need. Uh, now, we did do the, this one, didn't we, with the clay? So let's go, let's go for one where the letter A is. Now, there is, on purpose, I don't know how you can see because I've gone with the black, there's lots of bubbles in the resin. You do get good working time with this. It will stay open to pour for quite some time. But obviously, don't hang around any more than necessary. Do make sure your moulds are nice and clean. I haven't got mine properly cleaned out. I've got far too much to what I need there as well. Now, important, Adam, is that you've got a nice flat surface because this is self-leveling. We've got different types of resin on the show, but this one is self-leveling. Just going to get another stick. And uh, if your surface isn't level... It will buy it. You will tell then the mold, this is going to pour, yeah. And also, you can get trapped air, especially where you've got very fine detail, or those those little bits in the crown there. I'm just giving that a bit of a helping hand, just to move it along. If you get any resin on the top of your mould, don't worry about it. If you don't mix enough, don't worry about it, because what you can do is pour more on top. Sorry. You can even let it set and go back in as well. Now, because I've got spare, before I put the heat gun on that, because I'm going to remove some of those bubbles, I'm just going to show you something else. If you take, make sure you've got gloves on for doing this, some of the resin, and rub, there's a couple of things to do. This is something I found out for the last time we did saw in. It was a, a great effect. In fact, I will do this tomorrow. We'll do this now, and we'll continue with this one tomorrow. I'm rubbing some of the resin into the detail there, but not filling it all. Okay, so that's the black that's going in there. So I'm really sort of working that into the detail. But another thing that happens here is, if you do this before you pour the rest of the resin in there, it will stop those bubbles again on the surface. Okay. So I'm just, you know, I've still got spare as well. Oh, we've had a question in. <laughs> thank you, Leslie. Just thank you. Uh, what's Leslie saying? Could you use the peg? Uh, could you use the Pentart pigment infusions to colour the, the resin? The resitint is a resin-based product, so that you know you've got to be careful what you mix into resin because you, if it's a liquid, you don't want to be mixing um, anything that's going to sort of react against the resin. So you don't really want to be mixing water-based products in there, uh, or anything with oils in that are going to sort of react against the resin so i would say go for a proper resin the resin go for the proper thing okay okay i'm gonna ask what are you doing with the glove and the, and the resin what are you actually <laughs> you'll see tomorrow you're not here are you? into it. you'll to see tomorrow you will have to watch that's going to be setting <laughs> overnight well there's two things i'm stopping bubbles but there's a special technique <laughs> to do with that. we didn't know okay. if it was a lot of guilty pleasure well, <laughs> you had. just rubber gloves on rubbing your finger around the resin i don't know if it's well, however you get your kicks, to no, be there's, honest. There's, there's method in my madness. Now, I don't know if the camera's going to pick this up because I've gone with the black. Ooh. Tomorrow I'll work with white or something else. There is lots and lots of bubbles in there. Now, you might be able to yeah, see them see fizz. Him. I can see Oh, him. there we go. Right, let's turn the heat gun on. Let me just get a little bit of heat going. Reminded me of a doctor. Okay. Now, keep, keep, keep watching. I love this. Now, look, look. Look at this. Now, the heat that I'm adding here, I'm not only that. is it bursting those bubbles and bringing the bubbles to the surface, it makes the resin more fluid as well. Look at that. It's not to set it. It's not there for that. Now, this is at the point now where you need to be a little bit careful again because I know there's likely to be more air bubbles in there, especially, and I can see where there's any sort of fine detail. Just going with a cocktail stick or something to make sure there's not a little bit of air trapped in there because it stops the resin flowing into those areas. So always worth just sort of taking your cocktail stick there. 
Okay. It's so right. flown by. It has, it has flown back. Now, before I go tonight, I am going to use the rest of that resin. I'll put it into some of the alphabets so it's ready for tomorrow as well. At this stage, you will leave that to start to cure. When you get, I normally leave mine six to eight hours. If you put in resin tint in there, there is a bubble in there. I can see it as well. I'll get that after. Mm. So there you can see, look. You know, I, I've got to do it. I know we haven't got much time left. Let's get that bubble. There, there it is. There we go. go. Uh, <laughs> oh, I can sleep tonight. <laughs> It, if you put the resin in it, it does sort of slow down the curing time a little bit, but you can tell, and we'll see this, come back tomorrow if you've never seen this before. It gets to a point where you can release the resin from the mould, but it's still not fully cured. But what it does mean, idea. what it does mean is that it is malleable, so this. you can shape it. Now look, I purposely left this off the bottle. Look at the shape of the bottle, okay, nicely rounded there. There we are. Look at that. That fits perfectly. So while the resin is still malleable, you shape it to your bottle. I like it. I love it. Uh, then, that takes an expensive yeah. bottle, uh, inexpensive bottles now to the next level. Yeah. And I will, tomorrow at some point, we'll, I either I'll paint this one up or I'd prefer to use the one I've just pogged because it's already got the resin in there. We'll bring True. some colour into that. You can paint your bottles, you can put lights in there, you can do all those different things. Oh, beautiful. You could cover that. What my idea was to put some nice decoupage paper or rice paper oh. behind there to show through some Le Blanche or something like that. You've got lots and lots of options. So, do come back in the morning. How many hours is that then? Uh, 8 o'clock tomorrow. Eight. Ooh. Uh, 11 hours because oh. it's 9 o'clock now. Do you know what? It's a little bit longer than I normally leave it, but it's quite cool here in the studio. So, and with the resi tint in there, hopefully that's still malleable enough in the morning. We'll we'll find out, and I will reveal what I was doing with the other one there as well. <laughs> I don't think I'll be able, I don't think I'll be able to sleep. That's all that's going through my head now. <laughs> Catherine, gloves, one finger. Well, uh, thank you, well, Catherine. While I've got spare resin, look, I'm oh, not going to waste it. Can you make me a keyring? I'll make you a. Oh, I'm doing an A look. Yeah, this can be for you, Adam. I'll have it on my car keys. I've got enough to do the B as well, so let's go with that one. I don't know, no one called B. Um, Brenda, it's yours. Uh, right then, um, no, I don't think we've got any Bs in a Chandra, have we? Uh, ben. ben? Yeah. He's in tomorrow. Right, Ben. I think. Um, well, he's in most days, but you know. I, I, I can think of uh, something else, but I'm not, I can't, no, don't I can't say that. mention don't it. Say it. Uh, <laughs> I don't know where she's going. Uh, but... <laughs> I don't know either. I don't know. There's so many things I could say. Oh, we've only got 10 seconds left. Thank you, Catherine. It's a pleasure. Go and get some sleep. Go and get some sleep, and we'll see I you in the morning. My best. Uh, I'll see you in the next hour. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> I'm curious now. What was you going to say? You can't call Jimmy that. He was nice. He's good to his mother. He's got a girlfriend. Now, uh, we're with Frenchy next. Wrenches and all sorts. Don't go anywhere. I wonder if Jean's finished the curtains. Hi, I'm Ali Reeve. I'm from the company Stamps Away. Stamps Away is a family-run company with my husband and I. We create all things crafty, especially with a passion for mixed media. At Stamps Away we create a lot of MDF products because we have laser cutters and router cutters. We also create our own stencils and masks. We try and make everything we can in-house so that you've got all the materials you need to create your projects. If you're watching a show with me on Hochanda you'll expect to see lots of different techniques, lots of ways of using the products that we produce and it's all very much mixed media, so pretty much anything goes. So I hope you won't miss the shows on Hochanda with Stamps Away. Hi, we're the team from Daisy B Stamps. My name's Nina, this is Josie, and this is my dad Roy. And we design and manufacture our very own polymer stamps. So we wanted to add an extra element to our stamp collection and this was down to Josie using her iPad and hand drawing the amazing sentiments that we now have in our collection. All our designs complement each other so that you can use them again and again to create something new. So make sure you don't miss the Daisy V shows on Hachanda.
exciting news. For the fifth year in a row, Hochanda has been awarded the top accolade of Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we're honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 Hochanda customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, I'm Abs from Holland Create. I've been crafting for over 10 years now and I love stamping, stenciling, creating layers, colors, textures and creating depth and dimension. Holland Create was established in October 2016, collaborating with a group of designers and artists from all over the world, bringing different designs and products in different styles. We proud ourselves of high quality photopolymer clear stamp sets, dyes, stencils, washi tapes and acrylic blocks, all in different size and formats. In my shows at Hachanda, I hope to bring you inspiration and different ways of using your craft products. Make sure you don't miss the Holland Create shows on Hachanda. For the past six years, Hachanda has been your home of crafts, hobbies and arts. We've got some exciting news. We've got a brand new name. From April the 1st, we'll be changing our name to The Craft Store. This will make it easier for you to find us when scrolling through your TV channel guides and searching for us online. Nothing else is changing. We'll be the same Hachanda that we've always been. We're, We're just getting a brand new name. Demonstration led full of inspiration and variety with our own dash of personality. Welcome to The Craft Store, your home of everything crafts. Yes, indeed, a very good evening to you. We are still live. The clock has just struck nine o'clock here in the United Kingdom and wherever you're watching around the world, what I want you to do is give me 15 minutes of your time. That's all I ask for. Give me 15 minutes now and I know in 15 minutes time you'll be with me for the rest of the hour. Why do I say that? It's something slightly different. Now before you all jump on the social medias and go, well this isn't card making, that's what I, it's not. This is a hobby. We're about to talk gardening. We're about to talk home decor is what we're going to talk now. Stuff that you need around your home. You know what I'm like, I say it as it is. I hold my hands up to it. Some people like it, some people don't. At the moment, you're watching, you go, well, why do I need one then for? But once we explain, you'll go, yes, I do need one of those. And it will help you along the way. Trust me, it really, really will. My orders are already in from the previous hour. We had a very busy first hour with what I'm about to show you. I've got bowls, I've got cutting boards, I've got, well, I've got a bit of everything. Prunage for the garden, uh, but we'll get to that later. Let's introduce the man himself, the man in the know, who's going to talk around our wooden pop-up straight away because we are all ready busy right then Frenchie it's over to you g'day, these g'day. are amazing they are brilliant aren't they now the idea has actually been around for over 60 years but they used to be made of hardwood and the problem with hardwood is now rare and expensive these are made of bamboo and they're from a bamboo farm not a bamboo forest so they're sustainable when they're flat you can use that as a pot stand, as a placemat, as a trivet. It doesn't take up any room. You can use it as a cutting board, things like that, right? Uh, anything. Now, when you want to, notice the shape of this one, by the way. This one is in, in very high demand today. We know what's coming up. We'll get this bit in time for Easter. But if I swing the middle round like so, right, push down in the center, swing round on the base, 
and then all of a sudden I go from a cutting board placemat into a really snazzy little bowl. You can get hundreds upon hundreds of Easter eggs as long as they're the little ones like that. See the <laughs> <laughs> That's my daughter's favourite, so I had to get some of those. Um, they're absolutely brilliant. They don't just come in the bunny shape. You can go for the bunny shape if you like, or you can go, this one's very popular in Wales, the dragon. Look at that. Isn't he very cool? What a funky looking animal he is. You can use it for your bananas. Right? I've got cock cross buns in the next one. There he is. There's the piggy week. Right? Isn't he cool? Look at that. Uh, and... Uh, You'd be amazed how grumpy he gets if you keep nicking hot cross buns out of his <laughs> dummy. Right? And then you also, the next one, is the apple. Now this is the most popular one. Notice I've got that set up as a herb garden. All I've done is the little plastic lining that goes around it when you buy it, I've used that as a liner to go on the inside. You don't have to do that. It just makes it easier to clean afterwards. But that'll actually um, hold three or four herbs. And you can, I've had them last for several months on the windowsill in the kitchen. Brilliant there. And the next one is the teapot. Now that is very, very cool. Look at that. Like you can use the spout of the teapot as a banana hook. Right? Now if you want to clean these, they're very easy to clean. You just turn them upside down, like so, and drop that into warm soapy water. You can use a little scouring brush on the side bits if you need to. But there you go. That's how easy it is to clean. They also come really nicely packaged as a gift idea. Now, obviously, it's a bit early for um, Christmas gifts, but you might have a Mother's Day gift idea in mind. You might have whatever it is. They're a great little gift idea for the person who's difficult to buy for. Put it away. It's there when you need it. Now, the next one I'm going to show you is the elephant. Good place to put your phone or your keys because he never forgets. And notice his trunk is pointing, pointing up. He's a happy elephant. Right? Then we've got uh, Cyril the squirrel. He's good mates with Harry the hedgehog. I'm afraid Harry the Hedgehog's on the extinct list at the moment. <laughs> we won't have any more um, hedgehogs until Christmas. Um, that's a long way away now. Um, and then uh, the next one we have is the chicken. Now this one was another very popular one. If you don't get the chance to get one of the um, rabbits uh, for your Easter, you could also go on an uh, Easter egg hunt with your chicken. Look, And then he's great for the eggs afterwards. You can get over a, a thousand eggs in the chicken as long as it's frog spawn, okay? <laughs> the next one is the puppy. You don't have to be crazy to do this job, but it helps, there you go. There is the puppy. Now you could have your dog lead in there by the front door. That was suggested earlier by Adam. I thought that was a good idea. Or you could have um, puppy dog biscuits in there for, um, for the puppy. Right? Very, very cool if you're, if you're a dog lover. Right? They all fold flat, they're all multiple use. Remember, we all use bowls, we all use cutting boards, we all use pot stands, place mats. This is one that does it all. Very unusual, but very useful. It is very useful, and there's so many other things that you can use them for. First of all, look at the price. It's better than half price. £9.95 is what you're looking at with these. The things like your apple and your Welsh dragon that you've got in there. Your rabbit, once he goes, I don't know if I can get any more. Okay, so I think once your rabbit goes, your rabbit has gone. Uh, you've got your chicken, you've got your squirrel, you've got your dogs, your elephants and your pigs. I just like them. I said this in the early show, and I'm not going to keep banging on about the early show, because um, if you're new to watching this one, you say I didn't watch it. But things like, let me move the area, things like the teapot that you've got here. I wouldn't use it as a bowl in my house. I would use it as a chopping board. When you make your cup of tea, when you make your tea, when you make your coffee, where do you put that hot mug? I'm a sticker. I don't like hot things on tables because they leave watermarks. They leave marks on the surface. So I have a tray. I have a tray where you make your cup on and then you put it onto a placemat. Just my rules. Uh, but things like these, you can put your teapot on. You could put your kettle on there. Where do you put that hot pan? When you take it off the hob, if it's pasta, you've got the colander in one hand, where do you put that other hot down? Do you put it down on your worktop? No, because it will leave a watermark. It's going to leave marks and they're expensive. You buy one of these and you put your pan on there. Remember, it's made of bamboo. It is a beautiful, beautiful gift. And with a simple twist, you've then got your little baskets if you want to turn them into your baskets. They are absolutely stunning. I'm really lightweight for the children if they're going Easter egg hunting as well. It's something that you would use all year round. Nice bottom drawer gifts as well. £9.99. pence. 565731 is your item number. Right. Now. Already three quarters of the next item has already gone. These are your multifunctional pruners. These have so many things in them. Ryan French, you talk me around them. They're fantastic. 
Now, we've, we're coming into that season again. All the blossoms are out. Uh, I've already cut my grass once. You, you know, the, my hedge needs doing in a week or two. Things are growing, right? Now, these cutters have a gearbox system that was invented in America over 30 years ago. And there's many different varieties, but I believe this one's the best because it's multifunction. It's got lots of different ideas. First, I'll show you how the gearbox system works. There's the gears there. You just squeeze, release until it clicks. You see that little jump of a gear there? That's into second gear now. Now we're into third gear. Now we're into fourth gear. Simple, easy, and effective. That blade gives you the cleanest of cuts because it's coated in Teflon like a fry pan. Underneath the blade is rubber. So you get a much cleaner cut. If you're doing a smaller branch, you don't want all the gears. You want to go straight through. Well, it's an automatic gearbox. It goes straight through. And that doesn't fill up with bark and detritus, making the blade go blunt. When you're out in the garden, you might need a pocket knife to cut, um, I don't know, a bit of string holding the runner beans up, whatever. There's a little pocket knife there. Oh, there we go. <laughs> There's the pocket knife there, just in the top. Look at that blade. That is, will be great for anything. Whittling, whatever you're doing. I use that for cutting up cardboard boxes around the office as well. Um, when you're finished with that, you just fold it away like so. And absolutely brilliant. How about the wear and tear? Now, they've got a three-year um, warranty with us. If ever it fails, we replace it for you within three years. But the only thing that's going to go wrong with that is you might end up having a blunt blade. Um, or you might need to oil it. Well, how about a nifty little idea that's in the handle that'll do both of those jobs for you, right? So if I just pop that out like so, now we have, right, I'll just drop it down, there we have a little V sharpener. So you just put the blade between the V. Absolutely brilliant. Now I've seen these sell on a, on a box setup system for 15 pounds just for a sharpener. That's just one function of this multifunction tool. Now, if, I, if you want to sharpen a blade, look how easy that is. Right? Once, twice. That blade is awkward. You can't get a file in there. You can't get a standard sharpener in there. If you want to sharpen your pocket knife, you can sharpen that just as easily. If you want to sharpen a kitchen knife in the kitchen, that same sharpener, once, twice across there, will sharpen that for you as well. It'll also sharpen other, other tools in the garden, your loppers, right? I'll show you these loppers in a bit. There you go, it'll sharpen all of those. Fantastic, and when you're looking for your sharpening tool, you just have a look in the handle and that's exactly where it is. Put a bit of gaffer tape across that, and you'll always have your sharpener when you're looking for it because it's in the handle. Brilliant tool, absolutely fabulous, uh, and at that price you can't go wrong. Now the next one I'm gonna show you is another one that is new today. I've never shown this on television before. In fact, I think it's gonna be a one-off because I, I got a certain amount of these and I can't get any more. So when they're gone, they are gone. And I tell you what, after this, the earlier show, there's not a lot left. So I'm just showing you the locking mechanism. There's, there's a hole for the pin to drop into. If lift that pin up, go down to the next hole, it just drops in. It won't cut unless it's in a locked position. But that is the lightest pole pruner on the market today. Uh, are we able to do the long cut now? Yeah, I think we are. Oh, we need yeah. a wide shot, Jim, if we've got one. Uh, bear shot. with me. We forgot to cut this. Uh, we just need to get the small tomatoes that are up on the stand, yep. Jimmy. So we need to go wider than that if we can. Right at the top corner. He's coming, he's coming. These cameras are slowing here. Here we go, here we here go. Here we go. Right, so keep going, keep going. Oh, I think I can see the tomatoes. There's just the tomatoes. there they are, like in the top corner. Right. What I'm, what I'm doing, the other thing is, that is the lightest pole pruner out there. My hedge is eight foot deep, right? And for me to cut my hedge and get on the fence at the back, I end up dropping the cutting over the other side of the fence, which doesn't impress the neighbours a great deal, right? But the beauty of this, it's got little grabbers on there. So I'll show you what I mean. Once I've cut that, right, it's grabbed it. So it grabs the cutting as you go. So that makes it fantastic. You're not dropping the cutting on the other side. The other thing you might need is a fruit picker. You might be picking flowers that are high up on the side of the house, say, whatever it is. I'm just going to pick me um, tomatoes there. Whoops, I <laughs> dropped it that time. Right? But once it's picked it, it's, it grabs it, right? So you can grab it and bring it back. Right? Brilliant little tool, works really, really well. So those are the two. There's that, that first one is the pruner and then the pole pruner as well. I absolutely adore. Or both of them. Right, then. should we go with the telescopic first because the details are on your screen? Uh, we're approaching limited stock. 
We are approaching limited stock with your telescopic pruner. As uh, French said, you've got three sizes that are in there as well, plus the reach of your arm. And then, obviously, you've got that little grip on the bottom, which I absolutely adore. I really do adore it. It is a beautiful little gripping system that you've got there. Quite ergonomic as well. You've got the soft grip that's also in your hand. Let me lock that a second. You've got that soft grip so you can reach out if you wanted to, which I absolutely adore. And then you've got that smaller size, so you know you're not going anywhere. But guess what, my little viewer? Yes, you. Uh, what was it? Limited. Approaching limited stock. We're approaching limited stock. And once these have gone, these have gone as well. So get them while you can. £16.99. and pence. You really can't go wrong. Absolutely love it. Also approaching limited stock is the multifunction. I made this by cutting it up. Yes, I love it. I absolutely adore. This is one of those tools that you think, I can live without. You can't. I genuinely thought when I come in, oh, I can live without this. Really, they go through a knife through butter. With the gear system that you have got in there, once you take the safety cap off, it is a gear system that anyone can use. Ergonomic on your hands. You've also got your little pruner in there. Obviously, be careful. It is a knife at the end of the day. Uh, but it literally goes through. Anyone can do this. And literally, you keep going till you hear the clicks. And once it's gone through, it's gone through. But look how clean that is. I have never seen, and hand on heart, I have never seen anything cut that clean every single time. Then you get the sharpener included in as well, which lives in the base of the handle. Uh, so you know you're never going to lose it. It also lives in there. So you're never going to lose it, and you can sharpen all your other things around your home, your knives, you can sharpen your uh, scissors, things like that, because it is a multi-first sharpener. Get them while you can, £16.99, pence. cracking Father's Day gift uh, for Dad, for Granddad that's coming up as well, that's over in June, and a nice bottom drawer gift again. You are not breaking the bank. Use well, it no, too. Ladies can use them too <laughs> as well. They can use them. But I'm just saying, Father's Day is on its way. Uh, it's well worth having a go. Just buy mum a gift to say thank you. Uh, get her a set of pruners if I was you. Uh, I love them. Absolutely adore them. Well worth getting hold of. Something else, both of what this was out. Oh, both of these are now limited stock. So this one is limited stock, means I have less than 10% of the stock left. If you want them, I'd get in quick. 005943 is your item number. If you want this one, it's also limited stock as well. We'll change the details uh, for this one. Limited stock for your grabber. Limited stock for your semi-copic pole pruner, £16.99. Uh, 015969 is your item number. Right then. You've got those tougher jobs. You've got those thicker branches. Obviously, they ain't going to copy with the thicker branches. What do you need? Watch these two. These are amazing. Now, these cutters I've got here are made of a composite fibre. They're very, very strong, but very lightweight. So again, you squeeze, release, squeeze, release, squeeze, release, squeeze, release. It goes through that hot knife through butter. Absolutely brilliant. So to give you an idea, they weigh about one and a half, in fact, less than one and a half times the weight of the pruners. So they're not, in fact, I would say they're probably one to one. That is so lightweight. My auntie, bless her, she's 80 years old. She hates paying someone to do the gardening wrong. She gets very annoyed with that. So she uses this at 80 plus because it's, you're not using, with this one you're using your hand, right? And that's great if you've got the hand string. They are a lot easier with that ratcheting gear system, they're great, don't get me wrong. But if you are suffering with um, arthritis, things like that, as we get older, I'm not as strong as I was 20 years ago. I've crossed that 55 barrier now, and that was a hurdle Never. to jump. Never, I won't right? have it said. This one, this one here is so much easier to use. I have chopped out, a, I had a, tw a, what was it, about 18 foot bay tree that I chopped out, the guts with one of these, and I, I chopped it almost virtually to the ground, apart from the bigger stuff, of course, um, with this tool, and it took me about 45 minutes. They're fabulous, and you can use that all the time. Now, of course, if you're gonna do some uh, bigger stuff, you want a bigger set of loppers, and I tell you what, this is the daddy. These ones, 
I use these all the time. They are strong, they are easy to use. What you've got, a lot of our competitors with this tool use um, aluminium handles. Now the problem with aluminium is it's malleable. When you bend aluminium it stays bent. These are steel and they have a spring quality so when you flex them they flex back. They're very, very strong. They're a nice bright orange so it's harder to lose than the other ones. Right. So I'm going to cut a big branch here. This branch is probably a little bit over to, um, two inch. But if I just put that and load it up, I'm just shy of six foot tall. The handle lengths of these are three and a half feet. So you should be able to fit, reach around nine foot high. So you can reach into the six foot into the middle of the hedge. You don't have to bend over to get the low branch. But again, it's just a matter of opening the handle up, it'll change gear. Squeeze, open, squeeze, open, squeeze, open, squeeze. And I've gone all off. I'll just fetch that. Look at that cut. <laughs> Come on, let's have a close up. Look at that. That is awesome. Look at the size of that cut. Now that is not green wood fresh off the tree. That's been off the tree probably for over a month. It may, in fact, over two months. Incredibly good clean cut on an old wooden branch that's two inches wide. Fantastic. Don't miss out on that one. I've, you could spend 50 pounds on paying a tree surgeon to cut down one tree. In fact, he probably charge you a lot more than that. These, at $31.99, they'll pay for itself on one tree. I absolutely adore them. Right then, let's stick with the big ones first. Uh, half of the stock of the telescopic lopper has now gone. Remember, it's a simple twist and pull is where you get your size from in there. It all says it on the end. So open, 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 so you know which way to open. So that's the way you turn it. And then it's the telescopicness that's in there. But you can lock it at any point you want to lock it at. £31.99, the gear system on here. You can hear the gear system is absolutely amazing. £31.99 is what you're looking at for these. Uh, absolutely beautiful. 640982 is your item number. Something else that I've got, though, something else is the lightweight ones. 60% of the stock of the lightweight ones now has already gone. You see how beautiful they are. They are absolutely stunning with uh, surrounded by my wood that you've got there. Uh, they are so lightweight. They really, really are. Got that mechanism in there again. You can hear the quality uh, that you're getting with these. A beautiful little set for £20.99, a saving of £4 on these. 340252 is your item number. And they are, they, I genuinely can't get over how lightweight they really, really are. They are so, that they really are lightweight. Anyone could use them. Um, it's, I've already spent a fortune during this hour already. I want everything. Uh, but there is one other thing I need to show. Well, there's two more things I need to show you. And this is what sticks in my mind every time the French is here. For the sheer fact, I always say I must get some of these for they are a game changer. Give me 10 minutes. Watch this. Well, it's the hawk's beak wrench. I actually came out from New Zealand over 20 years ago with a, the predecessor to one of these. And uh, I was born in England, I went out there when I was two years old, but I came back here, um, so it can't be all bad. Beauty of this is it's so easy to use. You just hook it open, forms the shape around the work, fast as a socket ratchet. Now that's how easy it is. You don't have to work out whether it's a metric nut. You don't have to work out whether it's 18 mil, 35 mil. It could be an American standard fine, a British standard fine. There's so many different types, different sizes of fittings. It could be hard, it could be soft. It just drops on and turns. And all you've got to do is make sure, and I'm going to change to a square bar here, make sure that the top jaw is on the flat. Whenever you find that the top jaw is on the flat, you'll find the bottom jaw is inside the corner. You're not working on the corners, so you don't round the corners off. It's as simple as that. And then if it's eight-sided, all you got to do is put the top jaw on the flat, the bottom jaw inside the corner. It works on absolutely anything. Now, one of the trickier jobs to do is when something is soft, round, there's no flats on there at all, and it's tapered. So you don't want to mark that up at all. But the, to give you no reason why you'd want to, that, that tap setup, you can spend on tap setups like that over 100 pounds. But when you've got a leak, 
it's usually about 50 p, p 50 pence to a, less than a pound for the tap washer to stop the leak and um, but this all you do is put a bit of protection on there, a bit of leather, a bit of cloth, a bit of tape. And that will drop straight on there and turn that. I'll just tighten it back up again. There you go. And you can see it's dropped straight on there. Fantastic. So the next big hassle with tools is when you can't reach. Well, these, you don't need to touch the head of the tool. Just hook it open and away you go. You don't have a problem with reach because you always get the full length of the handle for reach. To compare it, let's have a look at the tools it replaces. Now, with this one, the weight goes from a moving jaw to a screw. Where's out there? So you put it on the work, you turn the handle, slips off, and you smash yourself with the knuckles. And by crikey, that hurts. Right? In New Zealand, we call that a sailing wrench, because after you've done your knuckles, then off you go sailing. The hawk's beak wrench is guaranteed, not for 10 years, not for 15 years, for life. If ever they fail, we replace it for you. And we try to get a replacement out to you within 72 hours, so you're not without a tool that you need when you're using it. If this one had a lifetime guarantee on it, um, you're looking at spending 50 pounds on one tool, in some cases more. That price, by the way, of just under 32 pounds, is not for the, the big one, that one's normally 39.95 if you bought that. You could spend that much if you bought it on its own individually. That one's normally 29.95, again, individually. 19.95, 14.95, £104.80, pound 80, buy them individually. The Hoshunda price is the best price we do. This is why we've sold tens of thousands on shopping channels. That, that is a fantastic price. You're getting them for less than eight pounds each. Now that's a fabulous set. Now if we compare it to the pipe wrench, it's a good, solid, strong tool. Um, two hands to adjust them. The problem with the pipe wrench is where do you find your pipe work? I bet you're not looking through a pipe in the middle of the room to watch your television right now. Your pipes are usually up against the wall. But with a pipe wrench, where's your handle? It's up against the wall as well. That could be a hydraulic coupling up against the frame of a big vehicle, something like that. You're just not going to be able to turn it with that one. But with this one, notice it's one-handed. So often with tools, you lose the use of a hand because you're holding two bits together. That one comes in at right angles, opens up and turns that fast as a socket ratchet as well. Absolutely brilliant. Fast, easy. If you look on the website, you'll see loads and loads of five-star reviews with this tool because we've been selling them for years because they work. The next one, commonly known as slip joint pliers. Of course, they're called that because when you squeeze the handle, they can slip on the joint and you crunch your knuckles again. If you don't squeeze hard enough, you're back to chewing up the work. And the last one of the tools I'm going to compare it to is the vice grips, mole grips, whatever you want to call them. You've got to wind the screw and squeeze the handle. Then you've got to rewind the screw and squeeze the handle again. And if you're really unlucky, when you squeeze the handle, it can trap on your hand. And that really hurts. Because then you're looking at this bit of skin trapped in there and it's just not fun. The hawk's beak is probably the safest adjustable on the market. That's my opinion anyway. You don't even need to see what you're doing. You just hook that tool open, pull back and it's on there. If I put a bit of pressure on there now, right, there's a tool slipping. It's not the hawk's beak. It's that um, vice grip. The problem with when a tool slips like that, you damage the work, the tool, and yourself. And now the thing can be welded on there. And you've got to fight the darn thing to get it off. It's a real pain. But with this one, it's sprung-loaded. It can't possibly weld itself on. All you do is give it a twist, and off it comes. To prove my point, I'm going to hang myself off it. Not right now, very shortly. But before I do, let me just run through what each tool will do for you. That one will go from about 2 uh, mil up to 11 mil. And that's a great tool for when you're dying of thirst and some rotten salt nick the handle off the tap. It'll also take the top off the beer bottle. Very important where I come from. Uh, damage the head of the screw. You might do that with a drill and you can't get the screw out. It might be rusted in there. That'll actually lock onto the head of the screw itself and sort that one out for you. You might snap the head off a bolt. A stud extractor. That can cost you 30 odd pounds for one stud extractor on its own. So that's great for the smaller studs, say motorcycles, motor mowers, things like that. Um, that one is in, a part of the, that one's normally on its own at 14.95. That one's in the deal. The next size up is fantastic for battery terminals, tighten the fan belt, things like that. You might snap the head off a bolt. Now, most people, if they do this, snap the head off a bolt, they've only got a little bit left, and they take one look at a job like that and go, "That is too difficult. I haven't got a tool to do it. I'll pay someone to do it." Just to get someone to have a look at an awkward job like that will cost you more than this set of wrenches. That'll grab the last little bit and still get the job done. Fantastic. On the, on the tap, you might need to take the T-bar the off 
right? That, that little cap there has normally got a little bit of uh, ceramic in the middle of it, but this is an old tap. Right? But just to show you, I can take that last little bit out. Look at that. The last little bit it'll grab and remove that piece. Silly little awkward jobs, you'd be amazed what it'll do. That one's normally $19.95 on its own when you buy it individually. That one's part of the deal today. And this one is also part of the deal today. Look at this. You can extend the handle. Now, this is very important. If that one said one of those names that meant lifetime guarantee on there, 50 odd pounds. If you do that and extend the handle with those lifetime uh, warranties, you can negate the warranty. On our lifetime warranty, it says do not extend the handle more than three times the handle length. So you can do it, but be within reason. The th reason why it's important, how many times have you not been able to reach what you're trying to turn? Might be trying to do a tracking rod underneath the Land Rover, something really silly and awkward. This one, notice now, I've got the full, I'm not touching the tool. Right? I'm hooking it on, it's gone onto that rounded off nut, and I can turn that fast as a soccer rasher without touching the tool. Fantastic. The next one is also, right, part of the, that one, you could spend $39.95 on that one on its own. That one is fantastic. Here's another one to compare it to just quickly. This one's been around for about 80 years. Um, I believe they came from Germany. One blade's thin, one blade's wide. The problem with that, of course, if you put that on a fitting, she slides straight over the head. Look at that. No chance. This, this one here has got the same problem. The bottom jaw is wider than the top one on a lot of those. This one will grab the last little bit. Look at that. That could be the nut holding the blade on your lawnmower. You want to do your lawns, but I tell you what, you can't get the blade off to sharpen it. That could solve that problem for you. I look at the prices. I didn't make it up. This is the normal prices there. $39.95, $29.95, $19.95, $14.95, £104.80 you could spend individually. If you go to an exhibition when they're back on, you could be lucky and get two for 40 or two for 30 Or the whole set could cost 50 Look at that price. You're getting all four for $32.95. 31 32 It's $31.95. I'm getting me prices myself it's even better. Right, now I'm going to hang myself. Right. Well, it's late at night. I've got a long drive to go home. Right. This will be good late night television for you. What I've got is two 8-inch Hawks beak wrenches, right? one, one for each hand. You can't do this with any other tool. The last time you couldn't see what you're trying to turn, how long did the job take? The last time you couldn't reach what you're trying to turn, how long did, the, did you get the job done? The last time a tool slipped and you busted your knuckles, did you enjoy it? Instantly they lock. I'm 16 stone, all muscle obviously. Instantly that locks and it does not fail. Ugh. You know, over 20 years I've been doing this and I used to be able to do more than one. I might be able to squeeze two out, but what I'm going to do next, that was off two tools. Over 100 kilos hung off one is probably pushing it a bit. And you might see the bar flex a little bit. It's a round steel bar. It's been polished, right? So that's gone on. Now, here we go. Oh, God, they took a long time to get the camera shot, didn't they? <laughs> it's hung up there for way too long. <laughs> Seriously though, if we can get a close up on that now, catch me breath, I told you, crack 55, not as fit as I used to be, there we have the knurlings, there's not, we've got a close up of that, there's not a mark on that, see that, they're absolutely pristine, the, all the parts of this tool have been plated before assembly so you don't get corrosive breakdown, the spring has been tested to do three and a half million actions. That's only a thousand times every week for 67 years. You're getting all four, not just that one, you're getting that one and you're getting that one, all four for that phenomenal price. But wait, there's more. What if you need a big fella? How about that one? If you put three times handle length extension on that, you're looking about a metre and a half, five feet. That's a, and it's still guaranteed for life. And to give you an idea of why you need it, the, the 10 inch goes up to 35 millimetre, over inch and a quarter. That's a big size. The 18 inch, that goes all the way up to 60 for all your two inch stuff, all the big stuff. If you've got a use for that, they're fantastic. You know what I used this for the other day? I couldn't get the handle off the vacuum cleaner. It had welded itself on there. So I grabbed it with this and got it off no problem. Fantastic.
It is worth having a little look at all of these. Right, and as the big details are on the screen, let me do the big one for you first. Uh, it is worth getting hold of. Literally all three of us, I can hear the talk in the gallery as well. There's Katie and Jimmy in there, and they're all like, we need a set of these. These are, and Katie's like, I don't even know when I'd use them, but I just want a set, just in case. If I've got anything I need to do, I've got them just in case. It is the case. Right then, let's talk about the big one first. The big one, £19.95 is what you're looking at. This is your 18-inch Hawkbeak wrench that you've got in there. Uh, it's worth having. Very, very handy to have around the home. 248006 is your item number. But this, this is the moneymaker. This is where... You, will, you could empty out the rest of your toolbox with these just here. The little one, friends, you didn't do it this time, but you did it in the earlier hour. The little one, you know the, belt, the, uh, the screw belts that you put into a drill? You can use them with that little one. So, yeah, if you haven't got your drill and you haven't got that screwdriver where you have to keep manually turning around, you can do it with that now. Oh, Fred just said sit up. Yes, well done. Oh, sorry, I forgot. But that's just showing you, you can use that as a ratcheting right-angled screwdriver. Very, very handy when you can't get your standard drive onto the screwdriver bit. Allen keys, torque bits, screwdriver bits, really handy for that job there. It okay. is, because sometimes if you can't use an Allen key, and I mean when you can't use an Allen key, I mean sometimes they're really fiddly. Well, I, I tend to use Allen keys with my um, electric uh, cordless drill, right, because it's quick, but you can't get that in every time. And so one job I had to do with this, and I had to use this exact situation, when I swapped the door on a transit van. My mechanic wanted £90 <gasps> to swap the doors over. I got a, a replacement one from a wreckage yard, right? Um, it took me an hour and a half. That's pretty good going. Huh? But the silly thing is, there's only, on this, on, on this particular door, there's only four star bolts. Star, star Allen keys. Right, so you take those four off, one of them was really tricky. It took me a while to get it off. And then there's one plug. So you, plug, you pull one plug out for the um, uh, nice. rear vision uh, mirror, and then that's it. And just make sure you line it up with the latch. It's not a hard job to do. It's just having the tool to get in there and do it. And that's the thing, and that's the nail on the head, excuse the pun. Uh, it is the nail on the head. It's having the right tool for the job. I said it earlier, and I'm not going to keep going on because we've got so many more demos to get in. But how many times have you been down to the shed, into the garage? Um, I had to fit Mole's bike the other week, and we had to tighten one of the stabilisers up. And you think you know what you're doing. You're like, right, I know the size of that. I know the bolt. It's about that. I'll go to it. You go and pick it up off the shelf. You go down to the bike. It's too big. Fab. Right, I'll go down a size. You go back to the shed. You get the next one. That one's too small. Back off you go again until you get the right one. And nine times out of ten, you kibosh it because it doesn't really fit properly. With this, you have got every tool for the job that you are going to need to tighten, to loosen around the home, around the garden. DIY is going to go through the roof soon. The minute we can get back in the garden, DIY projects are starting. Lockdown, how many DIY jobs have you done over the last year? And what you've had to do is go and buy the tools. You've had to go out and buy more tools. This, you are covered. Remember, with a lifetime guarantee. £31.95, 020337 is your item number. Uh, for these ones, well worth having a little look at them. Right then, we are busy across the board. You've seen everything I've got to offer you now, but we've had a few emails in saying, can we go back and look at the baskets in more detail? What can we do with them and how do they work? Of course we can. Let's go back and look at the baskets. I've just had a, <laughs> a cheeky little Easter egg. I caught you. <laughs> I knew I'd catch you eventually. Well, you did. OK, so when it's flat... <laughs> right, this, this is... I don't know how many ones of these we've got left, but that's the bunny rabbit there. When it's flat, you can use that as a pot stand, so you can put a hot pot on there. You can use that as a trivet. You can use that as a placemat. You can use that as a cutting board, right? anything like that. When, you, when it sits flat, it's, it's perfectly flat. But when you want a bowl, you just push the middle round like so, push down to the middle. I first saw these, by crikey, it was over, over 30 years ago, um, in New Zealand, and they were made of a hardwood called Rimu. 
Now, Rimu is really expensive now because it's a very slow-growing hardwood, and we shouldn't be chopping down old trees. It's just uh, conservative, you know, we don't want to be doing it. This is made of bamboo, and they're bamboo from a farm, not a forest, so they're sustainable. What they do is they cross-laminate it. So there's a piece going down one side and sections going across the middle and another piece crush-laminated. A lot of work's gone into that. You can see by the colours, if we can see the colours on the end there? If you look at that, right? You can see lots of colour, lots of beautiful, They're absolutely beautiful. But a lot of work's gone into that before they actually cut out the shape. Then they cut, they use a, what's called a scroll saw, which is one of those thin scroll um, blade. They drill a hole there, they drill a hole there, and they drill it at an angle so that when it's pushed down this way, it forms the shape of the bowl. You could, if, if I gave you the wood and said, make that for me for £10, your hourly rate would